Hello and welcome to the UIAA SASFE World Cup. My name is Matt Groom. I'm joined in the commentary box by Aneta Lucheska. Lu uh, Aneta, hello and welcome. <laughs> Hello, Matt. I'm so excited to be here with you and to see all of this, what's coming now. Well, what's coming is going to be exciting. But before we get into it, let's have a look back at what happened in Korea in the first World Cup of the season. Welcome to SASFE for the second UIAA World Cup of the season. But before we launch into this event, let's look back a few weeks to Korea, where things started and find out who won the medals there. Starting with the men, and Yung Kai Kwon won in front of his home crowd, pushing his teammate Yung Gun Lee into second by just one point. Coming in third was Swiss one to watch Benjamin Bossard, who started his season well with a bronze medal. <laughs> Wu Shun Shin added another goal to her huge collection and took the win. In seconds was Catalina Shirley, who got a silver to add to her silver from speed. Coming in third was Marianne van der Steen, who did well for that bronze medal despite climbing on borrowed tools after her bags were lost. So that's the story so far. Let's find out which athletes are going to step it up in the second World Cup. That car park behind me transforms into a spectacular ice climbing venue. So let's check it out. Well, that's the story so far. And of course, those athletes can cement themselves on the top spot on the podium. But if you're new to this sport, it all seems a bit bizarre, doesn't it? But don't worry, I've got your back. Here's an explainer of the rules. Ice climbing is a unique genre of competition climbing. So I'm gonna take you through a few of the rules and what to watch out for. Now, as you'd expect, these competitions tend to be quite cold. So a good warm up is essential. Once the athletes are ready, they move from isolation to the arena and take up their starting positions at the base of the wall. The wall itself is a massive structure, usually very overhanging and ranging in heights from 15 to 30 meters tall. The concept is simple. You start at the bottom and to the top and you clip all of the quick draws in sequence as you go. There's a variety of holes on the wall, from very, very small and slippy to fairly large, and the athletes can use the tools or their hands on those holes. On their feet, there's crampons attached to fruit boots, and they kick into the wood of the wall, a lot like you would do in real ice. There is occasionally real ice used on the wall, although dry tooling holds are preferred to maintain consistency and difficulty. Ice can chip away. There's a time limit imposed on every climb, and that's decided at each competition, depending on the length of the wall. So how do you get maximum points? Well, you get to the top. 
hit the last quick draw and match your tools on the last hold. Then descend to victory, medals, and hopefully a mulled wine. That's the rules. Now enjoy the competition. Well, there you go. Hopefully that's given you an idea of what's going to happen here this evening. But if you missed it earlier on, we had a brilliant semi-finals and we chatted to some of the athletes after that. So let's check that out, shall we? Well, I was quite nervous at the start and you know you have to get really high in this route, otherwise you just don't make it to the finals. Yeah, I almost did not in the finals. Yeah, I just made it. <laughs> Thanks so much. It's so cool to climb in the finals, especially here because it's my home crowd and there are so many people watching. Slowly process to, okay, now I'm high enough to go a little bit more free and I got a little bit more free and with Dennis yelling in the background how much time I had left, it went better and better. Uh, I worry so much, it's looking so hard. So I want to so, um, be careful, you know. If I make a mistake, I cannot go final, so I was a bit struggling, choosing the wrong detail, but the rest I felt comfortable, also because I know the line and the wall, but some holes were a bit sketchy because they were really new. At the end of the overhang, I fall, I think that hold is so nice, I just make a bounce, just a I know that the crowd is going to be super intense, the music super loud and everything. Yeah, of course, it's always so cool, they cheer for you on every move you do. Um, so they push you to get higher and higher even if you can't hold on anymore. Good luck tonight, no more slips please. Yeah, thank you very much. Hear the music, hear the crowd and process that in a positive way. So I hope I can do that. It means maybe a bit more than at another venue. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. I need a little bit of luck this time. <laughs> uh, I'm super happy. Super happy to climb well uh, in this competition since yesterday. And I hope I will do the same uh, tonight. felt like uh, 10 minutes or 20 minutes up there. <laughs> and um, and yeah, I think it was a really strange hold. Um, to be honest, the roots didn't feel super hard. It was just like really nerve-wracking because as I was getting ready at the back, I saw my teammate fall off really early and I wasn't even ready yet. That's very incredible for the public, so super happy to do a second final here and give my best. I don't really think it bothers me because, well, the, the long waiting in isolation uh, is nerve-wracking, but I'm just looking forward to having, climbing a cool route. So yeah, I mean I'm happy about uh, what I climbed before and I'm confident for the finals. Uh, yeah, the competition is starting tonight, not, not now. Well, there we go. There's some of the stars who we'll see perform later on this evening. And I've got a star next to me as we look at the cup standings. Anetta, first of all, congratulations on that silver medal last night. That was awesome. Thank you so, so much. I was so surprised I got on the podium. <laughs> Well, I wasn't surprised at all, especially after your gold in Korea, and you came close to another gold. And right now we are looking at the uh, leaders of the World Cup as we go. Wushin Shin obviously in this final, so she has a chance to cement herself at the top, but Catalina Shirley is not here. So she might drop down a little bit in points, deciding not to do this competition. As we look down the list and then flicking over to the men. Young Gun Lee, he's the one to watch, really. He's in this finals. He's on 80 points and he's just behind. So this competition might boost him up the standings a little bit. Fingers crossed if you're a Korean supporter. Further on down, Jonathan Arthur Brown is definitely one to watch. He qualified in a good position in this finals tonight. He'll climb second to last. So he's got a chance to jump himself up the standings. And in fact, let's take a moment, shall we, to look at some of these start lists. Women's final. Well, all stars all the way. Sina Gertz uh, will climb last. Junko will climb first, the athletes competing in the opposite order from where they qualified, so the first athlete qualified in last position. That women's order did change around a little bit, we explained it during the men's semi-final, so go back and watch that. But a couple of athletes uh, getting knocked out due to an infringement on the wall, so unlucky for them. And for the men, another change you might notice, Javier upgraded into the finals after Lim was knocked out, having hooked a bolt, which I know everyone found an incredible moment, but unfortunately against the rules, so he was knocked out. 
And Nathan Clark, we saw him interviewed. Oh, what a man he is. And he will be competing last in front of this awesome crowd. Now, Annetta, let's take a moment just to hype everyone as if they <laughs> hadn't been hyped enough. Because this venue is spectacular, isn't it? It is. And everyone is always so excited to see climbers climb and do their best. And, you know, this venue is also full of music loud people, chumps and very interesting moments in a final. So I hope everyone will enjoy it. Oh, they are indeed. And remember, everyone, we have a chat going on on YouTube. We've got all the regulars. Jan Havel, of course, is there. People are asking questions. And Annette next to me is an expert. So ask technical things and she will answer technical answers, if that makes sense. And right I will now, try. <laughs> yeah, definitely will. Right, Junko is off the ground. And Annette, you had a chance to look at this women's route. What were mm -hmm. your initial impressions of it? Well, there is a lot of technical holds and small holds. Uh, you got to be so careful when using them. I also believe that some of the iron holds are new for the climbers, so it might be hard to read them. You know, some holes in them are small, some are like a little bit bigger, and it's always so hard to tell which are which. Also, plenty of stone holes, which is uh, very specific for SAS fed. Uh, some moves look pretty long, at least to me. Um, yeah, I think there is definitely a lot of interesting moves. And then also there is this huge roof, which women need to fight in, so... Exactly, and they're transitioning from ice back to the wall like uh -huh, she is now, and yeah. then she hits the ice again in a second. Yeah. And also right by the spectators' faces, as you can see, they're about to have an exciting moment. Ice axe almost to the face, but uh, it's all good. The comp tools are not made for actually really switching into the ice, so it's hard to actually swing into the ice. Um, there are holes, but it happened so many times in the finals in Sasfe that even the best climbers fell from the beginning of the route because of the ice. So. Absolutely. Uh, we saw Junko there not hooking, or for a second not hooking the uh, hole, yes. and then changed, swapped yeah, on her yeah. thumb. Much better. And this is the first of the sort of technical sections is this transition back onto the yes. wall. And she's actually climbing pretty fast now. Yeah, the athletes do have a Smooth. time limit. And that's down on the bottom right of your screen. If you can see that, that's how long she has to complete this route. There's a new scoring in place this year. Every hold is worth a points value. It's 0 0.2 if you uh, have the one in the bottom. But we'll go through all that later on. Because right now, Junko had a bit of a moment there. The left foot <laughs> oh, bobbing yeah. around. <laughs> Reaching up high to wrap that right ice axe yes, around. Yes, you get it. And makes the clip. We've had a couple of questions about biting the ice axes like that. Uh, it's the method the athletes use to transition, to swap hands. Yeah. Some athletes use their shoulders for hanging the ice axes, and some of us use mouth and biting into ice axes. Um, I actually use both of these methods. Um, it really depends on situation. But obviously, if you fall with your ice axe in your mouth, it's not really comfortable so you gotta be careful no and i have a story about that later oh, on yeah. but we'll, we'll hold up on that one <laughs> right now junko is pausing she's matching yeah. this hold four minutes 30 left on the clock clock and you can hear this sasfe crowd I and mean, we talked about the atmosphere yeah, it's a big four yeah big fig four here and this is to get a bit more distance right? yes so she wants to go up with that but left. you know it makes you slower um it's always so hard to find right pace because if you are climbing fast and dying oh, oh and she's slip. off right we're gonna have to see that in a replay because she looked pretty solid yeah to me. she looked oh. but you know these holes are really small and you gotta be so careful on them yeah absolutely well we'll get a replay of that in a sec junko back down to the ground of course she'll be in the lead at the moment but uh oof. yeah not the start she would have wanted there yeah so a first fall from our japanese athlete oh that yeah she's disappointed yeah, oh, <laughs> as you can see there, yeah. Yeah, the Japanese team really coming on in recent years. Everyone's talking about them as ones to watch. Yeah, yeah, they are. Like, they are getting so, so much better. And now there is Haruko. Uh, she'll climb later tonight. And she's incredibly strong this year. Yeah, she's got that beautiful, smooth style. Yes. Which uh, is so famous for Japanese rock climbers and ice climbers, it turns out. Right, let's have a look at this. Oh. That's the moment she fell. Quite sure what happened the second before that. I think that. she pulled out the, the tool out of the hold. I guess that's, that's one of those things happened. when you're in that fig four. I mean, mm -hmm. that's the danger of it, I suppose. Yes, yes. Okay, well, it really we, depends on hold. Yeah, well, we're going to swap over to the men now. Javier 
the gentleman who made it into the finals just by the skin of his teeth he's here now live chat do say hello to me uh, let me know where in the world you're watching from i know we had a few people from the us uh, at a horrible time in the morning it was one o'clock or three o'clock or something like that in the morning so let me know where you're watching the finals from and who you're supporting right now javier from spain and aneta again this spanish team mm -hmm. i mean last week in chambry there were hundreds of them oh yeah uh the spanish team is huge but they are quite new to this sport and they are so strong um some of them won the european cups and they're also climbing super fast uh super efficient so it's very nice to watch them it's like watching somebody dancing on a wall <laughs> It's a beautiful way to describe it. Yes. I wish someone would describe my climbing like that, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. <laughs> I have the same problem with lead. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about it later. We'll work it out. <laughs> All right, well, Javier gets a nod from the judge, matches the first holds, and he is about to be underway. Now, if you saw the semi final for the men, you'll know how brutal that was. The setters went and tweaked this a bit, so it should be a little bit easier for this mm -hmm. men's final in the first section, anyway, before things ramp up. Yeah, usually the route in semi-final is the hardest one, harder than qualification route, obviously. But sometimes it's like way less hard than the route in the finals because you know the athletes in the finals are already like so so tired. Uh, yeah, and you've done a lot. Of so semi-finals are usually the hardest route, and also there is like 16 people in semi-finals. So yeah, that's true, exactly. And the athletes are tired now. There's a big party awaiting them, but Javier makes his way easily through the first section. Hello, Laura from Denver. Nice to see you, uh, Nadia from Switzerland. Loads of people from all over the world watching us. It's good to see. So do say hello. Now, Javier, oh, yeah. first moment here looks like he's got a crampon stuck for a sec. Yeah, yeah, and. Um, also, he needs to put so much pressure on his hold. All right, so he's committing to these stone holds Even here. a little shake of your hand, can you get off the wall? Yeah, those little micro shakes. Yes. Helps get rid of that pump. So Javier up, and I think this is one of the rock holds yes. for Sasfe. Yes, these are the rock holds you can see only in Sasfe. Yeah, and they are really technical holds. Yeah, because obviously they're all different. I they're think rocks. this is holds from Korea. Well, Javier we is getting saw it last week or like two weeks ago in the stage in Korea. Yeah, so a mix. We have a Korean uh, head setter here who's actually been in the last three World Cups, so yes. it's good to see some consistency there. Mm. Javier, long you... move. Yeah, it is a long move, isn't he? Look at that stretched out position. Oh, yeah. Removes the axe delicately and makes a very tentative match here. Biting the axe, we've seen it again, bringing that rope up. And yeah, Javier looks a little tentative at the moment. Yes, yeah, he does. Yeah, he's using his hand. He has no points for taking the volume with his hand, but it's allowed. Yeah, you could theoretically climb the whole route just with your hands, but uh, yeah. you wouldn't get very far. Well, theoretically, but you will get no points for that. Yeah. So it's Although like... Maximum kudos, can you imagine that? Yeah. <laughs> one, one day. Right, there's a dyno coming up here, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching. So he needs to get himself set up on these volumes and then like Annette I have no idea how you guys dino with ice axes <laughs> it just sounds like the worst idea possible and the first time it's like so hard to get used to it because you know you have like sharp things on your foot and sharp things in your hands and you still have to do this dynamic move but when you get used to it it's funny it's great you're just like flying with the axes in your hands and it's great. If you say I so. I love jumps. <laughs> I'd be on my way to the hospital. Hello, by the way, to Yannick Glattard, who's watching from El Chalton in Patagonia. I know you wish you'd be here, mate, but lovely to hear from you. Right, Javier gets himself set. Here is the jump. Takes He's getting a deep ready breath. for it. Oh, he got it. I didn't realize it was a jump to yeah, that hook. Yeah, and it's so hard to like get your tool into it because it's swinging, you know, so... That is absolutely, if you're watching this from an IFSC background, just understand how bonkers wow. this move is. He's jumping to a metal hook holding deadly weapons. I'm just saying, it's outrageous. But he might have got himself a bit twisted up. Yeah, that, that was incredible. It was a good commitment from him, wasn't it? All right, now he has Another Korean hold. Come. I'm 
I've just been told, by the way, but the people sponsoring the quick draws, Maurice Lacroix, also uh, a fantastic watch brand. They're giving away a watch on the podium. So not only is there glory to play for here, there's, a, there's an awesome prize at the end of it. I'm very, very jealous, to be honest. Right, Javier got through that section. Now, this is a yeah, new this feature. Is, yeah, it is. And it's kind of hanging roof. I'm so excited to see it because it's for the first time here in SAS Fair. It's such a thin feature as well. It, it looks, is. It looks like one of those um, ice... Uh, I've forgotten the name of it now. You know when, when, the, uh, when the ice forms into very thin bands of... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I can't remember what on earth that's called, but one of those. <laughs> I don't know the name of it. I know what you mean. <laughs> okay, you're so with us. <laughs> and for them, it must be so hard because you are not allowed, obviously, to grab the ends of this roof. Yeah, suddenly so, your world narrows down in front yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's having a bit of trouble here they with this. They cannot hook or anything. You can see the rope there, the just plywood. a bit of drag around that yes. box where the eight. The drag is. of the rope is huge here. Oh, you know, you are going up and down. Yeah, that might cause him some difficulty. I'm hoping that rope's going to unflick itself. But right now, he's making his way around the side of this really thin, a pinnacle. That's the word I was trying uh -huh. to remember. Ice yeah. pinnacle. There we go. <laughs> and also, keep an eye on the clock. Less than a minute to go. Mm -hmm. It's gone quickly for Javier. But he's doing pretty great, though. Yeah, he's up there. And you can check his progress, by the way, on the left of your screen. Yes. That's the leader bar. Right, shaking out. Yeah, he's climbing fast. Yes, this is a good performance. I mean, at this point, I guess you've got nothing to lose. You didn't know yeah, you'd be yeah. this far. Another he just needs to try and touch another hole. He's still on. How did he save that? He's With... still on. He's kind uh, of half committing to this. Still 24 seconds. Oh, it's all go. Goes again. This is uh, the third time. Unreal from Javier. Surely this oh, time. Oh, he's got it. He's right. really fighting to at least have this one more hole. He got oh. it. Yes. Look at that shout as well as he locked off that axe. This is oh. incredible. But finally he falls. He's so happy he got it. <laughs> that is awesome to see. What a first oh, run from Javier. That was a great fight. Uh, we've got a question, Anessa, you can answer this, from mm -hmm. Matthew Skolnick, who's saying, are the volumes all wood or are some fiberglass? I think he's talking about the big volumes. Um, it really depends on the venue and on the wall. Most of them are from wood because we are kicking into them. So it's better to have wooden ones. There we go. Keep sending your questions, everyone. Well, what a run from Javier. He holds his heart, and that is a big moment for that man, representing so Spain. Happy. And also so tired, you know, the route is like super long and super pumpy and you really need to climb super, super fast. Yeah, there was a delay during the uh, qualifying round because they were making the athletes untie their own knots and no one could. So it was, uh, oh. that's how pumped they are. Let's just see this dino again. Insane moment. Set himself, took a breath, jumping towards that loop. Now, I didn't actually realize that's where he was going to. Hooks it. <laughs> oh. You know, it's not like if he was jumping into a huge hole. It's swinging and it's so hard to get your tool in. And then this was the other swing. Yeah, this was the huge fight. Yeah, that right axe was good. I mean, he had that mm -hmm. in a yeah. solid position. Yeah, it was position. probably some good hold. And then this was him pushing himself once more towards yeah, it. Yeah, you got, got it. it. That right and axe important, well. Yeah, and the important part is that he released, or like the second ice axe, popped out of the hold because then now he got the full point for the hold. Yeah, that is a very good point. You have to release that bottom axe yes, from the so hole. so actually it really helped him that it popped. Okay, next athlete out, Lorena Beck. Uh, yeah, she's out and about on the wall. Good to see her climbing. And she is a gold medalist from yesterday from Speed. Well, I didn't know whether to bring this up because, I mean, <laughs> of technically... Of course, you are so fast. <laughs> I mean, you can hate her if you want. It's no, okay. No, no, not at all. She's the, one of the youngest climbers here. I'm not sure if she is not the really youngest one. And she's doing great in both lead and speed. Yeah, she's just 18. So yeah. incredible performance from her. I do joke, of course. I need to support her. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, well, Lorena Beck, can she make it two out of two? She'd love to get some gold, another gold medal here in SAS Fate. And a fast start up the ice, as we'd expect from a speed yes, climber as yes. well. But it's so much different to climb fast with your fifis on ice or with your, like, comp tools, because the ice acts really different with your comp tools. Absolutely, it's different Brilliant. styles. And you, by the way, you can go back and watch all nice. of the things we're talking about for free on the UIA Instagram, sorry, Instagram, YouTube channel. All right, she's back into the ice, gets the hooks, swaps these picks around. That young man there in the... She uh, made his transition. 
Yeah, she's back yeah. onto the bus. Yeah, the man in uh, young boy in green couldn't believe that he was on camera there. <laughs> <laughs> Not left, it was awesome. Right, He's well. still in our <laughs> Exactly, and we can see, look at that, so many people watching this. And now, using the hands or trying to, that is quite a risky strategy. It is, but sometimes it's like really helpful because some of the holes are easier to actually get with your hand than with your tool. Yeah, we see. And this is the point when yeah, where Junko yeah. fell. Yeah, Junko, sorry. If she manages to get next hole, she will get a high point so far. Well, she nice. looks in the fifth hole. This Before is where she as fell. Well, yeah, it's the exact move. <laughs> the it's so hard to get into the underclaying here. Yeah, it's a long way, isn't it's it? It's a long way on a really bad hold. All right, hooks it under oh, and another slip. No. Wow, again, but and caught the axe on the quick draw. Yeah, yeah. That's some scary stuff. Head in her hands there. It's going to be one of the crack moves, probably. I think so. I saw a big flash there. Is there a, yeah. is there a pyrotechnics machine here in Sasfaya? I swear I saw some fire there. But anyway, Lorena Beck, awesome from her, but I'm not sure if that's going to be enough mm. to match that she gold medal. She looks pretty disappointed, but... Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. We'll wait yeah, for the scores. Yeah, she's still smiling. Yeah, she is. I mean, she's done so well this weekend already. This will just be... She did. Icing on the cake for her. Well, she unties her knot, and we'll see a replay of what happened in a sec. Good to see the uh, lung athlete from Liechtenstein smiling, but let's find out what happened. Right, she had the fig four lock. She had a figure four. And then her tool switched to the side a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be hard to see. Yeah, that. and then it just popped out. Oh, and then caught that axe, which is, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, real nasty, but she held on to it. Okay, so the women's route, uh, two falls, two low yeah, falls so yeah. far. It's going to be hard to even get to the roof. It is, and that roof is enormous above them. Okay, Patrick. Now, Patrick climbed first in the semi-finals, made the route look really quite easy, and mm -hmm. then almost everyone else fell off. Fell off, yeah. <laughs> It was a great performance from him. Hello, chat, by the way. Keep those comments and questions coming. Uh, give me a thumbs up or a smiley face emoji if you can, just to let me know that you are watching. I'm going to send my own one right now. What I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose that one. There we go. So do say hello on the chats if you're around. And uh, talking about emojis, UIAA Ice Climbing Instagram, bottom left of your screen. Do follow along with that. We have photographers festooned around this arena taking wonderful shots so you can go and check it out now uh patrick knocking off some ice there yeah yeah because obviously you don't want to have ice under your crampons yeah it's a funny one isn't it because so many people are like hang on a sec this is ice climbing without ice so let's yeah, explain that yeah. for a sec why, well why it's called it? ice climbing but as you can see there is not in reality much of the ice at least during lead comps on speed it's different because speed wall is completely out of ice um but lead, we are climbing on plywood, on wooden walls, and there are some icy parts, I would say, but sometimes it just like starts like here in Sasfe, and sometimes it's, for example, hanging ice barrels, but the wall, it's not from ice, like the whole wall, uh, because it will be so easy uh, for lead comp. There we go. We're trying to keep the consistency the same for each athlete. Yes. That's the theory behind it. Yeah. Okay, so Patrick, and remember, Patrick is Swiss, so expect this crowd to go absolutely nuts yeah. as it goes high. Yeah, of course. But we know what's awaiting him. Two big jumpy moves and a thin bit of wall ahead, so he's got a lot of work to do. Makes that long clip, looking a little yeah. bit more settled than Hatton yeah. did. Yeah, He's climbing super fast. He's not shaking at all. Yeah, time is such a factor in these competitions. But it's also, you know, it's his home wall. So it's always like, on one side, it's easier because you know the wall, you know the structure, you know most of the holds. But also the pressure is high yeah. if you are climbing before your home crowd. Absolutely. They're under a lot of stress right now. So yes. fingers crossed for Patrick. But he's making it look good so far. Nice. He's making it look so easy. Yeah, it's calm, isn't it? But... It is the easy bit, to be fair, this first section of the wall. So the difficulties are to come. Yeah. Those are the athletes you can see down on the bottom right. They are watching up. And Chief Root Setter there in the middle with a red, black diamond helmet on. He is nervously watching his creation yeah, being yeah. tested. <laughs> it's always so hard for the Root Setter as well. Yeah, it is. It's a stressful job, that one. 
Okay, well, the crowd know what's about to come, as do you at home. It's almost dino time. He just needs oh, yeah, to transition. We are almost here. I'm ner- now I know what's coming. I'm more nervous. Yeah. Than before. <laughs> I really am. I've got classic sweaty tip fingers here in the commentary box. Okay. So Patrick making his way up. Yeah, checking the hold. Long reach up towards yeah. that long quick drop. One to go before he makes this jump. And I just want to tell you, Netta is leaning forward in her seat right now, oh, yeah. as close to the screen <laughs> as possible. So here we go. I'm so nervous for him. Oh, yeah, let's, let's, let's try to calm ourselves down here. So he's, he makes that clip, drops back down for a little shake before committing to this sequence. He can see that hoop ahead of him. Makes the match. Moving his legs. Here we go. And doing the jump. Yeah, he got it. That's nice. awesome. <laughs> and he's psyched on it as well. He is. <laughs> wow, what a moment this is. So, Swiss athletes through the first hurdle. Bit of a rope drag there or something catching. That was great job. Yeah, and that's the hook. Good shot there to show what uh-huh. he's jumping into. Grabs it. So, I think it's allowed. Yeah, it should it's be It's a hold, so. Yeah. That's quite so a smart method. So he's kind of skipping the halt. Yeah, he tried Because he's supposed to go down to this blue Korean halt. And I think, I don't think that was a root reading error. I think he was just trying something yeah. a bit cheeky there. Yeah. We'll have to see. Yeah, now he looks down and sees the blue hold he should be going for. There it is. But it was a good idea. Yeah, this, it was a great idea, but I think he will go down to the Korean halt. Yeah. Maybe a bit pumped now. He's trying to get a no, rest. No, he's trying to do it again. Wow. Now, I can't believe yeah, it. Yeah, he's skipping the hold in the final through. Well, he's trying to. This is going to be... Is, but, it, oh, oh he got it. He got it. That is wild. I wonder if he talked about that with anyone else, whether Jonathan Arthur Brown, his teammate, for example, mm-hmm. might have seen yeah. that as well. I think they shared this idea, probably. There's a root setter down there just mystified by Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, there is Javier, Definitely. current leader. And uh, now he's on the thin bit of wall right by some of our well, photographers. I'm not really sure if it was really faster That's than a good point. going down. Yeah, that is a very good point. Well, whatever, it was cool to see from Patrick. It was. It was a brilliant idea. He's trying to do figure four. He's locked it yeah. in. Yeah, get the hold. Oh, but the problem is, because it's so thin, you can almost kick your own tools yeah, off, yeah. off the wall here. Right, up towards a good hold. So thin. And he's approaching that high point. And it's also moving, as you can see. Oh, yes, it is. So if you kick into the wall, you can pretty much get your two out of the hold. Again, that box causing huge yeah, problems with road yeah. drag. It kind of needs to be unclipped, doesn't it? And you can see someone down there. Someone trying is trying to get it out of the box. Well, there is a setter leaning down to unclip it. Yeah. All right, well, that's done. So no more rope drag, we hope. But Patrick, on uh, 22 at the moment, according to our score, is nearing the high point. 23 now. The crowd trying to calm themselves down. He still gets over a minute. Yeah, he's got plenty of time. What a men's route this is. Right, reverse grip on the axes. Yeah. All right, now makes the low match. We'll take a second to shake here. He knows he's got time. Mm -hmm. Matching on the tool. But, oh, well, I forgot seconds. the second jump, Panetta. There's another one second to come. Second jump, yeah. Oh! Wow. Interesting. So different hold from different where hold. Javier went. Now makes the match, kicks his feet up. And that's the high point for now. Yes, it is. And I don't think he can move that rope, you know. He shook his head. 30 seconds, he's got time. But can he drag that rope through to unclip it? The rope drag is huge. Yeah, it is. And he's got to make a big transition now as well. 20 seconds. Up he Whoa. goes. Uh. Tries to catch the axe on the way down, but can't make it. But it is a new high point, 26. It, it is. It is. What a nice performance. Awesome. Well, he will come back down to the ground. Our current leader, as things stand, of course, with yeah. a lot of athletes to go. <laughs> oh, showing a heart with his fingers. <laughs> That's awesome. 
We're getting, we seem to get this question at every broadcast, but how cold is it in the arena? Uh, I don't entirely know. It was uh, minus one earlier on today. It's not too cold. It's not, it's not. I remember years when there was like way, way colder than this year. We all were actually so surprised that it's pretty warm this year. Not yeah. if you are hanging around the venue for the whole day, obviously, but yeah, in overall, it's way warmer than it's usually here. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully, oh, there we go. Minus two. Minus so two. Okay. Hasn't dropped too much. So hopefully, that's answered the question. We do get this at every broadcast. Yeah. <laughs> well, Javier, congratulates Patrick, the two uh, two uh, athletes together. Nice to see. And let's just listen for a sec about their conversation, if we can hear it. Yeah, we do like to just listen in and see what they're talking yeah. about. It's kind of. <laughs> It's maybe spying, but I don't care. I love Just that a moment. Just little spying. <laughs> it's okay. Well, this was the jump and the launch. Caught that it hook well. It was amazing. And then the skip of the hold. That was wild. And look at the celebration. He nearly lost his foot when he was doing yeah. that. So he skipped the hold lower, set himself up for the second jump. And interesting, he went for the other hold. Uh, mm -hmm. didn't have yeah, any. yeah. Didn't I wonder care, which yeah. one is better. I don't know. I don't know. Well, probably this one, but it's like a little bit higher. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and we have Shin. Yeah, Shin is going up. Now, she is our current World Cup leader. We we'll want to mm -hmm. cement herself at the top and so fast through that bottom eye. She is so fast because she needs to be fast in the finals if she wants to get gold medal again. Our commentary box is just behind that plastic curtain. I can hear her kicking into the mm -hmm. wall next yeah. to us. It's so <laughs> atmospheric. I can hear it as well. It's crazy, isn't it? All right, well, she's getting ready here. It's also so stressful because if you are moving fast, obviously there is a bigger chance for you to make mistakes. So it's a huge pressure for her. Well, she's solidly kicking into this wall, onto the ice now, makes the match so quick for Mushin Sin. All right, up she goes again, just the edge of the axe on that yes. next hold. I am nervous about this next moment. Two women me actually. Too, me too, me <laughs> too. And okay. do remember, these athletes don't get to see each other climb. So they're in the isolation. They'll know they okay. fell early. Okay, she took it from different part of the halt. This yeah. is the crux move and pretty much the high point for now. Well, this is smart. Yeah, she's using her hand. Yeah, no fig four needed no for her. No figure four, yeah. But this metal hold she's on spat off so many mm -hmm. of the men yes. earlier on. It's a horrible hold. Yeah. But there she has so many experience, you know. Yeah, that is true. She's many uh. gold medals to her name. All right, hooks in and we've got a new high point. It's on 10, which is yeah, crazy yeah, to think. Yeah. So it's sort of a low I high point. I think we can definitely expect her to put a show on and to be even in the roof of the wall. Agreed. So here we go, leaning backwards, committing to that reverse grip. She goes over to the right and now we'll start a little bit of a traverse onto another section of wall. Yes, left to right here. High with the feet. Yes. Ooh, oh, lost the axe. Dead was close. Really was. Well, she's in now, makes the match, and has just slowed down slightly, yeah, which is probably it good. Definitely makes you slow down. There's a few of our athletes getting hustled backwards away from the danger zone, I think. There is uh, Rob Aidy, one of our, our UIAA organizers on screen. Okay, so Shin will, has just calmed down, just slowed down a little bit. She knows she's in a good position. Andrew Andercling. Yeah, floating Stein as well. Oh. And I love the LEDs. That's a new feature this year at the Satisfy Walk. Yes. They did get kicked to pieces during the speed round, but they are they're certainly pretty cool. All right, so she's on a hanging barrel. Now, this, again, another crux for the women this section. Yes. It's swinging and everything, so... And that's all she's holding she's on to. She's so fast. She really has got plenty of time. Three, three minutes, almost yeah, four yeah. minutes. Almost yeah. four minutes. And she reached the sixth quick draw. And now she's thinking if... Oh, yeah, figure four. So for the first time, she busts in a figure four here. Oh, just... Oh, that's a very long move. Yeah, absolute limit. Has hooked it, but she's not got a lot of pick on that. And she also can't really see if she is on the hold or not. A yeah, good point, it's really super blind. stressful. Well, I think she's okay now. She's certainly committed enough to, uh, to clip off it. 
that's the part of the ice climbing or dry tooling. You just really need to trust your tools instead of your hands. With hands, you can always feel if you are holding the hold or not. It's not that way with tools. Yeah, it's what makes these pumps so brilliant. You never know, crossing yeah, the axis. Yeah, she's crossing it and making the next move. She's not far off here, getting into the roof, but losing her feet now, kicking into the wall. Yeah. And those, uh, that black volume is a bit slippery. It is. It looks like that. Yeah, you can see it's shining there in the lights, and that's what the set has told me. Another big move behind ahead, real 3D yeah. climbing here. And now we are getting into the roof. Oh, a big swing, hanging head first. Meters across, 26 meters tall, this wall. In those swings, it's very hard to release the tool out of the wall. Oh, she's got through that transition move. Now she's almost on the steepest part. Horizontal, almost. Yeah. Makes these wraps and a hook. Stein pull above her head, pressing the axe in. And it's hard just to understand the scale of this. She's about 15 meters up, upside down, holding on to axes that are sharper than rays. Yes. It's so full on. Yeah. And the crowd getting behind her. The crowd is going wild. She's got so much time as well. Yeah, she does. Okay, two minutes. Oh, but two this... minutes to go and... Yeah, plenty of time. She's almost out of the roof. Whoa. Okay, she decided to swing her legs to the other side. Look at the movement on that box, though. And your legs just rocking back Again, and forth. Again, you can't really push the box because it's swinging, so it will actually make you further from the wall. Right, for the first time, we seen hesitates here a little bit. Gets in the fig four in order fig to get this clip. Again. And it's there. Come on, get it in. Now it yeah. is it? No, no, still no not. she didn't get a clip. Still not. No. So now she's experienced enough to just know that she yeah, can reset yeah. here. She can reset here and clip a little bit later. Puts the drawer against her leg in order to steady she it. She still has over a minute. That was smart from recent Sin. Yeah, that was very smart and you can see the experience here. Okay, she's close to the top, plenty of time to do it. Now, to get a top, to explain, she needs to clip the final quick draw and match, match both holds both tools, yeah. on the top hold. Yeah, she's almost on the top. There is the top indicated by that sign. Photographer waiting, one yeah, axe on. Yeah. Oh, the oh. wild swing, nearly lost it. Needs to make the clip and then match. This could be a top, it should be a top. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah, going to be. Yeah, it's the first top of the evening. <laughs> Top wow, for she Shin. is so happy, obviously. That was a it crazy was, run. Yeah, it was an amazing climb. There is fire, <laughs> yeah, I told there you there is fire. fire. Yeah, I thought I was going fire. mad. <laughs> now, let's just put something in context here because she qualified fairly low down this order. Yes. Therefore, if other athletes get a top, count back means that she will be knocked off that top spot. So, um, in the case that more athletes are going to top, time will decide. Time would, okay, so that speed then, very yeah, important. Yeah, yeah. Well, this was the crux with the spat of two climbers. She did it with a hand and then a big high stein pull, which was awesome. And then this section, so 3D, so it different. It was, it was. Swinging around, kicking in the wall. And uh, she's getting so much support as well from my YouTube team who's there. I just want to again shout out Yannick Glattard, who is literally in Patagonia trying to climb big mountains and yet tuning into SAS face. So yeah. thank you, Yannick. <laughs> and then this was this transition upside down, shaking out. Shaking hand and. So much strength. And this clip did cause her problems. The only time really she had difficulties in yes. the But then the move to the next halt, clipping later, was so smart. And then. Oh, that. yeah. She nearly lost it here. I wonder what that was, because it's a pretty good hold, that last one. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Usually the top hold is really good. So a bit of a wild moment. Okay, well, <laughs> we move on to her teammate, yeah. Young Gun Lee, who's currently at the top of the standings. He's got headphones in, trying to stay in his own world for as long as possible. Makes the match. He's a cool customer, this man. He is. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is commenting on YouTube, saying congratulations to her. Awesome, awesome. Oh, wow. Well, this is a, uh, an exciting final so far. Not even halfway through it. And if you've missed the beginning, well, you've missed some great action. I'm here with Annetta. My name is Matt Groom in the commentary box, and we are watching the men and women's final in Sasfe, second World Cup of the year. And our current 
overall winner is on the wall and climbing speedily is get again. Yeah. Again, he's super fast, fast on the beginning. Yeah, I think the athletes would have read this and know that this is the place yeah. to start going yeah, quick. Yeah. It's not too hard. And then they usually slow down a little bit. Gentleman in the white coat now needs to stop eating chips and look upwards. I mean, you are yeah. missing some quality climbing here, my friend. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, up towards the stone holds. Yeah, he's just flying through the roof. Yeah, he is definitely flying. Hopefully, he won't be flying back down to the ground. Needs to uh, keep things together for that jump, which is coming. I'm so excited for this jump again. All right, well, he's got to get there first. Patrick is watching carefully. Yeah, Patrick on the Red Bull hot seat. Yeah. All right, so up he goes towards the uh, the jump. That's Maurice Lacroix jump, I'm going to call it from now on, after our title sponsor here makes his way onto the volume. And almost the jump. Yeah, here we go. Well, Making look. the clip. Ah. Oh, yeah, fiddling it in. He's look. definitely losing a lot of energy here trying to clip. It may not be the hardest jump in the world, this, but yeah. it is spectacular, and that's what we want to see. Yeah. So he's getting himself set, shaking out that right hand. He'll swap his tool to the left, almost ready to go here. Here we go, everyone. Hold your breath a little bit. He starts this moment eyeing up that swing, that jump, that hoop. Sets himself. Here we go. And he got it. Yeah. Brilliant move. Easily in. Axe fully hooked into it i'm wondering if he's going to do the same thing as patrick which means skipping the hold yeah true let's see see who's read it like that you've got to be careful here and he has his i mean that's quite a realistic like, every time i've gone ice yeah, climb i've yeah. got an axe jammed at some point so i think that's <laughs> realistic now he's going to go oh, traditional yeah. no no he's going traditional way i can't wait to see if the other swiss athlete does he this later tried on. it with figure four now he put his legs back on the wall. Okay, hanging with straight arms. We're trying to get rid of some of this pump. We we'll have a side pull, Stein pull. Gets himself set around the corner, hooks. And there is our crowd and setters talking through <laughs> all the scenarios. <laughs> All right, well, there's ooh, one of our setters trying to get rid of this. Trying to get out of the way as well. Slightly, not the greatest of timing there. Get the undercling now. Yeah, he's in that box moving around. Yeah, it's so hard to release the hold. He'll probably try to keep the hold on the box, yeah. Okay, he's on the thin section now. That blue, a new feature here in Sasfe. Moving roof. <laughs> yes, the moving roof. How horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, Mr. Setter. Get that rope unclipped nice and quickly. Yeah. I don't know who to watch here, the setter or the climber. All right. Well, let's stick with the climber. Oh, oh he got himself just, tangled. Yeah. I think his cramp and got stuck into the quick draw. He's struggling with his clip as well. Yeah. Gets it in now. That's good. And he won't be worrying about that rope stuff. I know someone will be sorting it out. Wraps the axe around the hold. Drops the feet back down. Remember, 26 is our current high point. He's on 22. And he's still got almost two minutes. Yeah, good point. Plenty of time. All right, round the corner. But he can't Again, see it. Yeah, I just wanted to say, I'm not really sure if you can really see if you are in the hold or not. Well, he's not really checking it out, so I think he th yeah. feels like it's solid. Yeah, yeah. There it's all of the experience, you know, you can feel it most of the time. Yeah, that watch brand I was talking about, Maurice Lacroix, down bottom left. If you want to check him out, go and look at some uh, beautiful watches, if you haven't already. Young Gun Lee here, making his way to the top okay, of the pinnacle. Making it from figure four. All right. Oh, yeah, and he is using the same hold as Patrick did. I think he looked pretty easy, but he needs to get his feet engaged now. Shaking out high match on the top hold of his axe. 
Trying to get something back into those arms. That right foot oh, stuck, stuck a bit. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, he's okay, got the, the roof to come. Move. Now he is the hold. I always find it horrendous. Stone, I understand. Yeah, yeah. Metal just terrifies me <laughs> when I look at it. Uh, but he's committed to it. I'm struggling with this. It's an awkward yeah. move. All of them, like Patrick, was struggling here. And he got it. He got it. He just needs to release the tool, yeah. All right, so he's back onto the pinnacle. Yeah, and now he's trying left. to get it um, really the right way. Yeah, that rope drag problem seems to have alleviated itself, which is good. And now and another, another big jump. Yeah, yeah, he got it again. Okay, Fig Four again, wraps himself around, but he has been timed out. Now, the clock sometimes is a little bit of a difference between our clock and the yeah, actual clock. Yeah, now they called him, yeah. He there we go. He's timed out, but, you know, it's still a high point, so... Yeah, younger Leah, 28 is our new it's provisional It's still a leader. high point. Wow, Annette, I'm exhausted. Already. <laughs> We're only halfway through this. This is a dramatic final. It is. Here. It's so dramatic. The roots are amazing. I'm hopefully enjoying it back at home. Let us know, what is the performance of the night so far, in your opinion? Do comment and let us know. We're watching some highlights here. This was the swing. Yeah. Managed to get the swing his... is huge. The swing is huge. Kicked into the box. This is this awkward transition. And made more awkward because both items are moving. Yeah, yeah. Both of them are moving. And also, it's so hard. A storm move is so long to get your tool on, on the hold the right way immediately on first try. Always what blows my mind is that the high fig four like that, mm -hmm. because me being me, I would definitely kick myself in the face with the crampon. <laughs> but like, it, it must be a weird <laughs> feeling when you're bringing that crampon up near your head. I would lie if I said that it didn't happen to me <laughs> when I started. It did. <laughs> it needs some practice. Or maybe, you know, some people are just able to do it immediately. Uh -huh. I wasn't like that. Right. So I have scarves on basically all my hands and on my face and everywhere from figure four. Oh, so like I, I was joking. I didn't know that was an actual bad, thing. Yeah. Now I'm Maybe it's terrified. only me. I don't know. <laughs> Let us know. Has anyone else ever kicked themselves in the head with a crampon? I feel like it's a unique thing to uh, pro it's ice fight. <laughs> Okay, uh, right, so let's swap around over to the women. Haruku, now we were yeah, talking we about her a lot. Haruku, um, she is so strong and she is also, you know, one of the shortest climbers. So it's definitely a pretty big disadvantage for her. Yet she is making everything seem so smooth and she's again one of the climbers which just looks like a dancer on a wall. Yeah, she's got so you that can see flow. she's so fast, she has this flow. All right, well, she transitions off the ice a little bit slower than Shin was, but mm -hmm. Shin was just speeding through. Because she knew she needs to top in like very, very fast time if she wants to get gold medal. Yeah, she definitely does. That lady has a lot. Okay. Well, she's she into some good hooks here. Uh -huh. Almost on the ice transition. There it is. There's our young man in green waving. Hello, sir. And I can't wait to see whether she's going to use her hand or yeah, use the Yeah, me too. Four. Me too. I'm wondering. The fig four has failed She's twice. using a lot of figure fours because, as I already said, she is shorter than some of the other climbers and it helps her a lot. Well, that's but the key might be to hang the hold instead of taking it uh, from the top as the two previous athletes. Well, she's a move away from that section. Yeah, she's now. almost there. Well, she's taking it from the top too. Yeah, it's not a bad hole, but it it's it's not, but it's slippery, you know, so yeah. uh -huh, she's definitely thinking of using her hand. I don't know how Shin made the swap. Well, she goes for the figure, figure four. Figure four, yeah. Okay, risky then. I would then. expect it from Haruko. Come but on. she's still checking the hold carefully. Now, you can see the issue that as she goes up, that pick will yeah. raise. Yeah. And yeah. that's why it might ping off. Yeah. I think she, she's trying to get off the figure four. Yeah. So she reverses things now. She noticed it's... 
this is why the athletes sharpen their ices, their axes yeah. so much. You want just the best. And what is she doing here? Okay. Oh wow! Oh, I am that. Dead was so smart. She's hooking I did not other. see that coming. Me neither. That is wow. brilliant. Oh, it looks down That's at that hand. That's nerve-wracking. Come on, Haruka. And now she's going to reverse back down Come again. Come back up, Haruka. <laughs> oh. I have, I have never seen that in well, a competition using the end. Well, there are some holes. Um, most of the, these holes are metal holes, which we try to use with handles instead of like the pick. But I have never seen anyone doing the, that with stone hold. Oh, she's trying she's to... almost there. That Stein needs to be moved yeah. to the left, though. Yeah, yeah. And now it is. Then. Yeah, she is in. Whoa. Cheeks of the axe Such pressing against the job. wall. It took her a lot of time, but still, she passed this crux move. Yeah, she literally tried everything yeah, <laughs> in yeah. that moment. But the hand worked eventually. Okay, she's through that section. But as you said, and she was slow through there. And using the handle, it really helped her to be able to get it with her hand. She wouldn't be able to do that probably with a pick on. Okay, above her and head now. now she's again climbing point. way faster. Yeah, starting to pick Struggling it up. Struggling with the rope now a little bit. Yeah. Okay, she needs to move over to the right now and then back onto the left wall. 3D bit coming, but she's a lot slower. Time is going to be mm. important here. Reaches up, tries to find a wrap, changes She also it. must be like super tired from all the traveling because she is doing all the stages. All the stages of World Cup, all the stages of Continental Cups. That's a lot of traveling since November. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot going on here. All right, so she's matching that axe. Needs to go all the way left now towards that hanging block. Kicks the feet in. 14 at the moment. Okay. Shin way out in front with that top. Still has almost three minutes. A lot of people Shaking on the chat. Shaking her hand. Yeah, people on the chat loving that uh, reverse hook she Oh, did. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and another big move into the block. Nice. So she's about halfway, which uh, is crazy because I think she's put me through at least a route's worth of heart attack here after that. 16 now. And a big move to come. And you were saying that height might start to be problematic. Yeah, but she's so strong, you know, so she didn't struggle much in this move. Okay, reaches up, makes that next clip. That left axe looks good. Looks above her head. There's a lot of wall to go here in just two minutes to climb it. So another mm. big move. Lots yes. are so strong to lock another up Another one reach, yeah. Now I th she might try figure four again, but it's really sketchy hold. Yeah, it is, but apparently she's a legend on sketchy holds. <laughs> has no yeah. issue doing it, as we saw earlier. I think she's going to go. Right. Yeah, that's the hard part. She cannot see if she is in the hold or not. Yeah, she has to commit to it. Yeah. Matches the axe, Got though. It. She's in now, it doesn't matter. She's going to have to trust that left pick. Okay. Securing herself with second tool. One minute, 18 on the clock. Things are getting tight. That's our current leader on the bottom right of your screen. She looks up, very calm and collected. I don't yes. think I'd be. <laughs> All right, shaking out her hands now. Okay, things get 3D from now on. She's almost climbing behind One herself. One minute to go. She's going to have to motor. Someone will be screaming up at her, telling her she's yes, got a minute left. Definitely. Whether they'll be heard in front of this Sasfe crowd, I don't know. Yeah, the crowd is so loud, so is the music. Uh, there's a party atmosphere. Makes a move up, oh. it misses it. Not as accurate Another that figure time. Four. Oh. Big nine now. Yes. She's so technical with her climbing. She is. Yes. I don't think there's enough room to make this match. Sina, she used this hold um, with pick facing the other side. I think Haruko just tried to secure her that way too. She yeah. needs to change something. Either get the feet up or just really lock that yeah. right hand. Yeah. It's a big move. Oh. No, 13 seconds to go. She falls. I think she yeah. got pumped out there. She did, but it was a great performance. Well, that's halfway through for the women, uh, which uh, Shin is leading the way for the women with that top in a quick time. That is going to be hard to beat.
And now we're about to move on to the men's side of things. But first of all, we'll see some highlights. And that was a, a, a gutsy performance there from yeah. her, really yeah. battled yeah. all the way. And that reverse And using hook. the handle, wow, it was one of the best moments in the final so far. So cool. I, I guess uh, Athlete's going to watch this now and build yeah. extra hooks onto the bottom Definitely. of their tool. <laughs> um, I should say at this point, there's a lot of talk about this, which is that the regulations for ice tools are fairly loose. You have to fit them into a box. Yes. But apart from that, you can kind of modify them. Yes. It's yeah. up to you. Yeah. So You can modify them. So, so yeah, lots, the lots of the athletes are making their own picks or even even tools it's really up to you yeah so the hook that she used on the bottom you can do that it's part of her tool and if some yeah. others are missing it well that's yeah. kind of their choice um well as i already said there used to be some iron holds which were easier to take with your handle instead of your pick but i have never seen anybody doing that on a stone hold like never pretty cool here in sasfe eh? sasfe always gives us talking points oh yeah which i do like <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, that was her highlights. Came down, having a look up, a good climb, and now a bit of a legend. One of two yes. brothers in this final, Tristan Ladevant. And uh, I talked about this in the semi-final, but both the Ladevant brothers deciding this year to kind of take things easy. They did compete in Chambry, uh, where Luna won. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then, and Tristan was second. Yes, exactly. yes. something like that, yeah. So for They're just making, you know, easy season. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, they, they told me they had maybe seven training sessions, but like, they do climb an awful lot uh, yeah, around yeah, that Yeah, they well. are so strong. And again, they have plenty of experiences too. And he, Tristan always does this, takes his deep breath. Yes, trying to calm himself. I think I need to do that as well. Okay, I'm going to take a deep <laughs> breath. Here we go. Okay, I'm ready. So, Here we go. Tristan is underway. Nice and easy through the bottom of the wall, as we know. This is a man who could definitely make his way onto the podium. Big shout out to uh, Ross Cooper on the live chat as well, our graphics man. And a lot of people are saying how good the graphics are. And I would agree. Thank you very much to the team behind the scenes. So Tristan, a couple of draws in now. Again, very smooth and very fast climbing in the beginning of the route. Yeah, it's flowy down low. You just don't want to get over grip. And talk to me about over gripping because that is a thing, isn't it? If you hold on too tight. Yeah, of course. Especially if you are starting with ice climbing or dry tooling, um, comp dry tooling. Uh, if you try to over grip your tool, which is basically what you are going to do, especially in the beginnings, uh, in situations as comps definitely are, um, you are going to lose a lot of energy and you are going to get really pumped. Yeah, absolutely. But so again, to... you don't want to lose your tool because yeah. then you, it's just it. It's, it's a fine the line, end of it? the attempt for you. Yeah, you've got to sort of hold on enough, but not too much yes. to get over pumped. Yes. Quick question from David, who's asking about appeals. Yes, the athletes can appeal in the same way as you do in IFSC. That's uh, coaches or athletes can appeal for various things that they want, just to answer your question. Okay, it's jump time, and I'm, I'm less nervous of this jump now, uh, but it's still Me a too. moment. Me too, but it's still a great moment. <laughs> All right, so he's getting going here, makes that high clip, and uh -huh. that's a good position, kind of almost sitting on his own heels. Yes, yes. Bit of a resting point before <laughs> the, the jump. Uh, the Maurice Lacroix Dino, as it's now being called, and I totally agree with that. So <laughs> he's coming up to this now. Makes the clip, flicks that rope around, very calm. Mm -hmm, yeah, very calm and very confident. Checking the hold. So here we go, make sure of that left foot. It's more of a drop than a jump, yes. but he needs to get set for it. He's using the short handle. Good spot, yeah he is. Oh, he got it, even with the short handle. Oh, you can see the ah. force that goes through yes. his shoulders when yes. he gets that. Powerful stuff from Tristan. And now, will he beat a break this? Can he beat a break? I think he's going low. Yeah, I think he is. Yes, he's definitely going low. Yeah, there we go. Committing to the side pull-like move here. But he's got that right axe twisted up. And actually, he did that transition smoother than yeah, anyone yeah, else. Yeah. Really good. Without basically any resting here. Yeah, true. He hasn't rested a lot. And he's got plenty of time, three minutes, 10 yeah. on the clock. That's all he's holding on. Look at that, everyone, yeah. if you're new to this sport. It's just insane. It's I will so stop small. saying this at some it's point. It's so but, small. Oh, blows my mind. 
Okay, but he's on the thin bit. Our setter is waiting to help unclip the rope and try to minimize that rope drag we've seen. And for the first time, Tristan actually pauses and takes a breath almost. Oh, there. yeah. Well, he's still got our almost three minutes, so get the hold. He's and I, oh, he's not in the hold. Oh, yes, he's above it. Whoa. Wow. I didn't even spot that. That's the reason why our picks are so, so sharp. But he's having trouble with rope drag yeah, too. Again, this rope drag. It's so annoying. He's trying to flick it around the box. Ah, oh, this is just... I think it could almost be called an... Oh, yeah. cool. It's like... I, yeah. I kind of agree with you, but he's so far up the route. He did make the flick, though, around that box. All right, well, he's through that. It's okay. The drag is sorted he, he out. He got it. He got it now. And right. Can chill out again through this section. Yeah. Not too bad, just narrow. Puts down again at that it's drag. It's still the rope. Okay, hold around the corner coming up next. Bit blind for him. He is a bit taller than the other climbers, so for him it seems to be like a bit harder to fit on this thin place, like yeah, thin roof. Good point, yeah. He's kind of almost catching himself. Yes. But he's doing well. 23 is his score, aiming for 28. And more time on the clock as well. Minute 24 yes. left. Tries to find some kind of a foot in there so so narrow you've got to be even more accurate with the yes. kicks snatches for the axe busts figure, in a figure four. four okay which one are we going to go for oh he's oh. going for the metal he's going to get a metal one hops his leg yes. up he's yes he's having a one long... minute to go he's having a long look at this yeah changes yeah, yeah. to the rock <laughs> i think that's the way to go yeah me too just skipping the metal hold uh, forget about the metal. We saw quite a yeah, lot. Using it maybe now for correction of your tool on the stone hole. Is he stifling that? Yeah, there I think there is. There might be a hole, or maybe not. Oh, he's, he's trying to, to find it. He's willing it to be there. If yeah, it's not. Like <laughs> right, he's ignoring it for now. Yeah, Tristan, forget he's about it. He's trying to reach the next hole. Yes. Twenty-six is his Twenty score. seconds. Tristan kicks in again. Yeah, makes the transition it. back. He needs to get the next hole to get high point so one away from the high point 10 seconds to go stand. do remember the clock might not be exactly yes. accurate so he might have a couple more seconds big move needed here get Whoa, set that get should it. be the high point and it is it is all right so up to the swinging box holding on hypes the crowd he's out of yeah. time of course <laughs> he's enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, he's enjoying the show. Or like making the show for the crowd. <laughs> well, he's on the top spot at the moment. It's Tristan Ladavat. His Great brother will come next. It really was a good performance. Dealt with the rope drag well. I can see yeah, him getting yeah, frustrated. Yeah. He lost a couple of seconds there. Well, he'll come back down. Take the hot spot position on the hot seat, Red Bull seat. Good work from Tristan Ladavat. Oh, and it's his teammate, Marianne. <laughs> oh, yeah, she walks out. So the teammates cross each other. Now, I, I said earlier on that Marianne had the uh, gold sparkly face glitter on. Yes. I'm hoping <laughs> she's returned to gold sparkly glitter for this round. I'll be so disappointed if not. But uh, Tristan doesn't have it. Uh, it's a shame. Let's see some, smiling. <laughs> smiling. Let's see some of Tristan's highlights here. So this was down low. That's the jump. Look at the force on that shoulder. Really yes. fell into it. Yes. To catch himself. You need to have really strong shoulders for these moves. Yeah, you do. Yeah, ice climbers have to be some of the strongest comp climbers in the business, for sure. This was the transition. He ignored that silver hold. Lost a bit of time yes. on that. That was the Is swing. the jump or swing? Yeah, that got him the top Another spot. Another shoulder move. Yeah, left shoulder, right shoulder, they'll yes. all be hurting tomorrow. Okay, here is Marion as she pulls onto the ice. Such a good competitor. She was competing yes. last week in Champagny as well. 
she got on the podium, right? Yeah, I'm just going to check that, actually. Uh, I have got the stats. I just totally got caught up in the, uh, in the action here. So let's watch Marion as she transitions onto the wall from the ice. Yeah, she was third in uh, Champagny, yes. so on the podium. But, Aneta, this is an event that everyone wants to win, right? But yes. just explain to us why that is. What's special about Sasfe? Sasfe is one of the most unique places to compete. Uh, there is always a lot of people, but if I say a lot, it's really a lot. It's a huge parking lot, basically. And everyone is here cheering for athletes. Um, I think what makes Sasfe special for, for the spectators, and, you know, spectators makes Sasfe special for us, it's the fact that the people are so, so close to the athletes when they're climbing. As you can see, they are just like a few centimeters uh, from them in some places. You've sold it to me. I want to leave the commentary box now. Yeah, I'm well. join the crowd. <laughs> it's so exciting out there. All right. Well, this is the move, though. How is Marion? She goes straight for the hand. Yeah, I think so. She used it as a hang. Oh, this is a full rock climbing move now. Two hands engaged. Wow. Stands up tall as she can stand. Oh, that stein pull is a nasty metal hold. This one yeah, gets deep as possible. Need to get it deep. Sometimes the different picks can make a difference as well to Definitely. how it feels. Even different tools. And that's the uh, live cup standings as they she are. She got a surgery just uh, two months ago, I believe. And she's still in the finals of a World Cup. Yeah, so impressive. She, oh, yeah, she did forearm surgery. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, so really on her recovery. She was surprised in Champagny to do so well, in fact, because of that. But And she was also in the finals in Korea. It's like... It's annoying, isn't it, when people are that good? <laughs> <laughs> she is amazing. She really and is. And she was so, so happy in Korea. She was like, I can't believe that. <laughs> she was so happy. Well, she's climbing quickly at the moment as well. No problems with the lower crux. Yes. But she's got some moves to come now. She's really fast now. Yeah, she is. Remember that top from Almost Shin. no shaking hairs or anything. Taking no rest. All right, into the underclink. Gets yes. the stein pull locked in. Yeah, just checking if she's really in. Yeah, this, now this is a floating stein pull. So yes. the stein pull is when you press the cheeks, the, uh, the end yeah. of the axe into the wall. This is floating because, as you can see, it's hanging in the yeah, air. Yeah, yeah. And it... Definitely a more physical style of style. Yeah, definitely ball. not place for rest. Right, big move out to the left now. All right, into the boxes. Up she goes towards the wall now. This hold a bit blind from our camera, but it is in there. And now makes the move towards that sixth zone there. You can see the cars going past in the background. I told you it was a car park. You can see the marks on the holds where the root setters are trying to tell us what's the best place to take the hold. It's not on all the comps, but here, um, as we are climbing on stone holds, um, it would be a huge disadvantage for the other athletes from different countries uh, because obviously the Swiss athletes know these holds. Yeah. And the other athletes don't. Yeah, it's very true. We want to try to make it fair. Yes. All right, Marion is on the steepest part of the wall now. It gets steeper and steeper from now on. There is our current leader looking still relaxed down on the hotspot. She does. Oh, uh -huh. Marion. She's <laughs> trying to get... Okay. Yeah, didn't find the range the first time. Reset, got it second to move. She's not in. No, she's not, so she's going to have to go back down. First time we've seen Marion start to struggle here. Yeah. It's a hard move, yeah. That's better now. It's definitely better. All right, commits, moving the hands up the pick shaft. Crosses over the top. Yes, crosses over. And she's trying to reach the next hole. Oh, come on. It's, oh, so, it's so far. Wow. It definitely took her a lot of energy, this try. I think she needs to change these feet. Yeah, now she moves them up and busts uh -huh. a fig for him. Figure four. This halt looks pretty good at first, but most of the athletes just hate this halt because, yeah, this the one. The one she's on. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's a Korean halt, and it's so, so easy to just slip out of it. 
and she's going to a small one up there. Look at yeah, that yeah. slot. You've got to be so accurate with that pick. The hole is so small. But it's costing her time this all the time as well. And remember, we'll come down to time if she tops the route. But it's a long way to go with only a minute 40 on the clock. Comes back down, resets again. Marion struggling with this. The crowd is trying to get her yeah, up the yeah. wall. Cuts loose. Surely her energy is going here. Fire goes in the background. It's all go. Everyone's no. trying to cheer her up. She still has over one minute. She's plenty of time, but... It's going to be burning her, though, isn't it? Oh, almost there. No, not quite. It's just like a few millimeters but you gotta be as you already said so accurate yeah. so you cannot do a dyno or anything like that it's got to be frustrating yeah. as well you just want to get it in there and yes, move on yes and move on because she's done the move about four times yes so theoretically okay 48 seconds on the clock she needs shaking to, her hand she's trying to de-pump here trying it from figure four again figure nine Trying everything. Yeah. Surprised she doesn't lay back that volume yet. Fire goes in the background again. Up she yeah. goes. I think she was closer when she was using only her arm without without a figure four. Yeah, I think you're right. No, she because does. she was more accurate that way. It's getting counted down here. 15 seconds ish left. She can try to be more dynamical. Yeah. Oh, she's in. Fantastic. Nice. Well, I can't she believe that. She got it. Whoa. How did she find, how did she get the energy back? Yeah, She's going to get yeah. timed out, but I don't care. That was awesome. Wow. She got it. <laughs> oh, what a fight from Marion. Wow. She is being timed out, though. That is it But she her. got it as hard. It was a huge fight, but she made it. Well, there's the glitter on the face and a bit yeah, of a smile. Yeah, but a bit of, she must be so tired right now, like so tired. And maybe she is also a little bit disappointed because she doesn't know how the other climbers did on the route yeah exactly oh wow what a moment well marion comes down second position though she's in silver medal at yes, the moment yes not for the podium but she doesn't know for now no she doesn't well and, there's a and few... she also knows she lost a lot of time on this spot well this is a an epic comp so far no early falls and we're about halfway through now this was the long stretch up with the right arm locking off on the hold. And then this is the move that caused us so many difficulties. Yes. Heading for that little slot above her head to reset. She literally tried everything. Yeah, she did. And she was so close. Even during the first try, she was so, so close. Well, it cost her dear, but watching her fight through was worth it. That's all she's going for. Look at that yeah. slot. That's where she Look, missed she was, it. She was so close hit pretty much everything on it yeah, apart yeah, from the spot. Yeah. <laughs> okay well this man here has potential to win Luna Ladova and uh, send an emoji on the chat if you can if you can find the fire emoji hit the fire emoji because uh, this man might take the win here tonight although he keeps talking himself down uh, saying how he's not training how he's not been strong I think he's uh, he's been training hard behind the scenes so let's see what Luna Ladovan can do. He's someone, it's funny, I've looked up to Luna Ladovan yeah. for a long time following these competitions because he's just good at everything. He time. is, he is. I talked to him after, after qualies and he was like, oh, I broke my pick in the beginning of the qualification route and he was still able to get so far and he was able to make it to semifinals without any troubles. Oh. He has has a bit of a uh, a history with breaking tools. Yeah, it's a, he's done it a few times. Here, he didn't fact, broke a tool, but a pick. The pick, yeah. The pick, and you know you are trying to get your picks as sharp as possible, and then there is Luna breaking his pick just in the beginning of the route, still being able to climb qualification route on the World Cup That's with crazy. our sharp pick. Okay, well, he's got a long way to go, though. So his brother, Tristan, is currently in the lead with 28 after that jump. Let's see if Luna can go one better, shall yes. we? He's moving very fast, though. Less than a minute he in order is. to get up to here. 
here comes this jump. Now, of all people, I would expect Luna not to drop this jump, which I might have cursed him on. I hope not. Oh, I'm going to have to cross all my fingers now, just in case. Drops that down. It's the Maurice Lecroix dyno, as we're calling it. Super fast now. No shaking, nothing. Just yeah. going for it. Has stopped, has he? You're right. Yeah. Make sure of that left foot. It's on correct place. The footwork is like so important here. Again, using the shot. Oh, oh my no. goodness. I should. No. My fingers weren't crossed hard enough. Luna drops oh. the jump. He just missed the hook. Yeah, he missed the hook. That was what I was saying in the beginning. It's so hard to get into the hook. Unreal. But I would never expect Luna to miss the hook. Me neither. To miss the jump. And he is obviously disappointed oh, by that. That I yeah, feel like course. this is my fault. I feel like yeah. that was me. Oh, uh, Luna. Well, his brother comes over and yeah. comforts him, but he yeah. won't take much comforting because it, that is a he hard one to swallow. It's, yeah. oh. it's funny. I said to the setters, I was like, are you expecting to lose anyone on the jump? And they were like, look, it's easy, but yes, someone will mess it up. And that's and what we just it's seen. Luna. Oh, well. Oh, no. Still the fire for him to cheer him up a little bit, but... Wow, well, he goes over to his brother now, yeah. big hugs all round. You've got a feel for him. Oh, they always have this brother moment on the comes. But... Let's listen for a sec, French speakers out there. Oh, no, no, oh. let's go back and see it. Well, watch this. Yeah. He had the pick very high, yeah. as you were saying. Yeah. Maybe that threw his accuracy off, I don't know. But look, set himself. launches oh no he was kind of he was kind of in because the sling it moved he had to touch it yeah i don't know how he fell out of the thing because he seemed like he was in yeah it. yeah it definitely moves wow well okay we're gonna have yeah, to we, reset our brains yeah here, yeah we've got gone. a wee wee on, okay. on the wall all right oh that was Nearly a moment. What's going on? Okay, yeah, everyone. I'm not <laughs> Someone send them a memo. Just chill out. Okay, we yeah. can't handle this. Okay, so Vivi transitions from ice back to yes. wall. And, and the crowd is going to go wild again because she's a Swiss athlete. She's incredibly strong. She has got very good season so far. Uh, she was super close to the to the finals in South Korea, but then her tool got stuck in the semifinals, and she missed the finals only because of that probably, which yeah. was obviously really really sad. She's doing great during this comp. Yeah, she is fifth in speed, so close yes. to the podium. Yes. Into these first few holes, nice, nice. and steady. It's funny, you can feel the atmosphere has changed yes. here in the arena yeah. after Luna's fall. Everyone is. Everyone's a bit shocked by that moment. Everyone right. is in shock and everyone knows that even the best climbers... Oh, she's trying to clip from here. Nice. Um, and now the people know that even the best athletes can do a mistake. Yeah, you're right. It's I think that the is part it. of ice climbing. Nice. Yeah, she's She in. passed it without any problems, just using her hand. Yeah, commits to it. That's nice work, Vivi. Great move from her. Okay, so she's through the early crux and yes. fast time as well. Yes, Plenty. that's great. Jan Havel is saying people must be getting great picks. They are, and you can check those pictures out on the UIAA Instagram. So go and check that out if you haven't already. She told me earlier this season in Bruno, oh, Ooh, nearly oh a that was a big swing. She barned all herself off that, but managed to save herself. She told me earlier this season in Brno um, that Sasfe is always one of the best comps for her because, you know, it's a home crowd, but also one of the hardest comps because it's such a huge pressure on her and obviously on all the other Swiss athletes. Yeah, the Swiss team are behind but her. She's doing great so far. Okay, so nice and smooth from Vivi at the moment. Yes. The floater. Oh, she's going to stein it. Yeah, full stein in that. Yeah, she can rest a little bit. So interesting, the difference in that move. I think she's going to yes. have to float it as she moves upwards. Yes, definitely. Crowd uh, deafening out there in the stadium yeah. now. 
She's leaning backwards, but this is a hard move up. It is. It's a long move. Yeah. Onto the box. Up into third. She's on the podium as things stand. Making sure of every move, apart from that barn yeah, door, yeah. no mistakes. No mistakes. And the barn door wasn't really a mistake, it's just life in ice climbing, I think. Yeah, she knows exactly what to do. Yeah, so she has so much, so much experience. All right, all eyes trained mm. on Vivi. Spotlight framing her on the wall. Everyone's pushing her up. Figure four. It's the first long move yeah, hooks her she's up. not using it as a hank she's trying to get it from the top of the hold now we kept talking about how this was a blind hold and i think it's the first time someone's uh -huh. shown yeah. us how hard it is yeah um it's a metal hold with a um, small tiny hole inside and everyone else so far try to use it as a hook we is trying to find the hole yeah, maybe oh, yes, Vivi, yeah, everyone is cheering for her. Maybe She's... she wants to wrap it on that hold? Or yeah. Or do you think it would slide off? Well, She's, kind She's of trying. trying to find a hole. That looks it is possible, but it will take her a lot of energy, a lot of time. Does wrap She's it now. She's trying to hang it now, but the pig is facing the other side, and it was during other athletes' attempts. Yeah, it's not 100% here, so this yeah, is a nervy move. Yeah, and move. it's a long move here. Actually, Maybe she can find a hole now. No, it's Ooh, using she... it as undercling. Wow! That was a very smart move from Bibi. Looks better on the undercling now, doesn't she? Yes. Makes the clip nice. easy. Nice, and also making the next move way easier. Oh, oh, it's moving. Oh, oh no! no! What happened there? Fired off. That's what I said before about this hold. It's so easy to get out of this hold. It's so easy to stay. By the way, Annette, you're getting lots of love on commentary. Tracy Edwards saying, loving <laughs> Annette's insightful, <laughs> insightful commentary. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> well, Vivi comes back down to the ground. 20 will put her on the provisional podium in bronze at the moment. Two athletes to go for the women, three to go for the men. So things hotting up here in Sasfe. And there we go. That's Annette's Instagram on screen. So if you're enjoying <laughs> it as well, so much. give her a follow. And you'll find that she's an interesting <laughs> person, the uh, lady next to me. Uh, Tasmanian devils. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> go and follow her. You'll see what... I'm talking about. <laughs> Classy devils. <laughs> All right, well, Vivi gets it done. Now she gets a smile on her face, says thank you to the bee layer. That was nice to see. And let's watch some of her moments. That was the barn door. Yeah, yeah. It's actually what a nice bit... save from Vivi. Yeah, it was actually a bet bigger save than I thought. She was yes. almost gone. Yes. And then this was the swinging around on that hard to reach hold, which she eventually worked out and got. And then this is where it went. Let's watch this carefully. You said it was moving, and it did just ping. Yeah, off. It, it was moving, and I love that yeah, hand gesture. Also... She's just kind of like, "What?" What? Yeah, she's <laughs> always so sweet, always like that. I right. love her personality. Yeah, well, Virgil is out, and this man is a beast of a man. I interviewed him earlier, and he sort of towered over me. He's strong, he's bouldery in his yes. style, and uh, full physicality expected yes. here. It's always climbing so fast. Let's see what he can do now. So he'll cruise through the bottom, we hope. Oh, I, I shouldn't have said that. I've already cursed no, no, Luna. No. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, we're expecting him to cruise yeah, through yeah, the bottom. Yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get sued by the French team at this rate. Okay. So I feel the crowd is still in a bit of shock because, you know, it was also we were slipping out of the hall, so two person in a row. You see, I quite like it when this happens, and let me explain why. Because everyone gets used to a dino. They think, oh, yeah. it's easy. And now we're all terrified yeah, again. Yeah, so yeah, it resets yeah. ourselves. Yeah. That's my commentator theory anyway. Well, it's coming in a bit. He's got some climbing to do, first of all, though. And he's making sure of these holds. On the rock, nice and careful. Good work with the feet. Nice kicking work, in. yes. Checking the hold, moving again. Yeah, these athletes sharpen their picks and crampons between the rounds. They're literally razor sharp, these things. And this is why, because you've got to kick into wood. This is fast. Yeah, yeah. Still almost five minutes to go. Well, on the clock. Yes. Okay, Maurice Liquadino coming up, though. 
Got to make the two quick clips first. Now, we know what happened to Luna Latifan, one of the best in the yeah, world. Yeah, I'm not saying anything. I'm st just, like, sitting here <laughs> without saying anything. Is that... I don't think that's possible. I think you're going to say something in a sec. Kicks in with a yeah, left. I probably will. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Failed already. Terrible. All right, well, let's hold our breath here for a sec because Virgil will set himself for this jump. Works the picks in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, such a relief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he get it. So, Dino done. He can now deal with the rest. Now, let's yes. just... I'm praying for no more rope drags. Please, please. Yes. Get that rope flicked around. It's caused problems throughout this competition, that rope drag. Oh, Ooh, skip. he's trying to skip the move. But it's different skip than uh, Patrick used before. And quicker, which I think it, is Yeah, important. it was way quicker. Yeah. Well, still using the center cling. Okay, he's in the hold. Virgil is not hanging around here. Mm. Oh, this is the issue. It's caught again. Ah. Oh, that's better. It's better. Okay, he got better. it. He got so it. he's managed to flick it out there. For a moment, it got completely yeah, jammed, yeah. but it's okay now. Okay. Figure four. That is our current leader, Tristan, looking on, watching every moment. Up into the thin bit of this wall. Got to be precise with her feet here. Don't kick your rope. Don't kick yourself. <laughs> yes. Three minutes on the clock. That structure shaking around, moving, adding another element to this competition. Still almost three minutes. Yeah, he looks at He's the clock. He's so there. fast. Virgil is well, in it to win it here tonight. He's just flying through the route. Gets oh the next yeah, draw. the crowd is going wild. <laughs> I think whoever's in control of the fire button has got a bit crazy with yes, that. Yes, yes. <laughs> going all the okay, time. Okay, skipping now. the hold immediately. The iron hold. Yeah, I think I would say the iron hold looks horrible. Kicks into it the does. box. And that hook on the stone is good. But will he fiddle around with this for too long? We know it's skippable. He is going to try to get. He's into trying it. to find the hole as well. I think there was quite similar hold in women's semi-final, and there was a hole. Oh, he got it! There is the hole. Okay, he's in he the hole. He got it. And does this? It does make the move a bit easier because you can switch yes, across. Yes, yes, yes. Of course. Yeah, he got the next. Oh, oh no. no, he didn't. This is well, drama here. Got the wrap for a second. Is. Drop back down. So it must be a good hold on that iron. I'm not really sure if it really is a stein. Up he goes again. Well, just the pick edge. Still not in. Yeah, now now it's... Oh, oh dropped into a better position, in. maybe. It's not on a correct position. Whoa. He's going to have to I'm trust so it. I'm so nervous now. Well, he can't adjust it. He's got oh. to commit. Yes. Works those feet up. And we'll get the clip in. He still can't make an He's adjustment. still on. But now it's, like, very hard to do anything. Correct it somehow, okay, yeah. Now he, he should be okay. Right, jump to come, and then he's going to yeah. hit uh, Tristan and the jump, jump above Tristan's next. position. He's Figure gonna, four, whoa. He's going to try to do it statically, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. He can do it, yes. He's in. Oh, it's a big release. Without a jump, without a dino. Okay, that's moved him up into the top spot, 28. Yes. So let's see if he can do better. Let's, he's got yeah. a minute left. Still plenty of time. New territory on our nice. route. Nice. The final part of the pinnacle now. Nice. Just the head wall to come after the transition from pinnacle to box. Yes. Gets it in. Matches on these axes once more. Nearing Another the top. Another iron hold. Oh yeah, true. I'm swinging, but oh no, there is one more hold. Okay. The yeah. Iron hold. Kind of wrapped. Around. He's got to drop onto it though. Yeah, Kicks in yeah. around the corner. It's blind. Whoa! He slips. Still on, Surely. just hanging on one hand. Oh. Wow, wow, he's so so strong. Getting that back, if you are hanging there. on one hand, it's wow. And he hadn't got the clip in either. All right, now he's got it in into the iron hold with the edge of the pick. And he wants the crowd to yeah. find out, but that is a new top spot. Wow, 31. What a performance. What a top spot from Virgil. 31 is our new leader. Things changing all over the place here in Sasfe. He will come down 
replace Tristan. Jay Jacobs on the chat says, so much palm sweat here in Colorado. Well, I agree. Yeah, the commentary yeah. box as well. <laughs> Uh, Jan Havel, give Virgil more time. Yeah, it would have been cool to see a top. I almost need a child back. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't got one, I'm afraid. Yeah. I'll, I'll try to rustle one up. <laughs> well, Virgil gives a thumbs up. Breathing heavy there. Let's see some of his moments. This was the oh, jump. Yeah, the jump. No worries. Yeah, yeah. Nice and easy for him. And then, yeah, there we go again. Another close-up shot of that. Leaping his way in. It's easy when you actually hit yeah, the thing. yeah wanted a little moment from the crowd there they were certainly responded and then the transition over to mm -hmm. the left skipping two holes <laughs> yeah true i love the fact that the yeah. athletes are thinking outside the box yeah, here yeah. seeing yeah, things like yeah, that that's great okay reaches up to wrap and this was the moment i thought he was yeah. gone to yeah, be honest. yeah 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 eventually sorted his axes out got the fig four hit this move statically yes and then, but he had to unwind, dropping out of that figure yeah, four. Yeah, and big then move. also this moment when he was able to get back on the wall. It's like something out of Mission Impossible, that move. It, it, it seems. Like, Tom Cruise will be watching and he will buy the rights, yeah. I promise you. <laughs> well, Virgil is. Whoa. <laughs> I'm just imagining He's the so excited. Now. <laughs> He's so happy now. So, so tired as well, probably. Let's just listen to this. I think he's just being congratulated by yeah. teammates there. Okay, so sitting next to Shin on the uh, on the leader. <laughs> Big smile from the main man. Stuck act <laughs> There we go. Uh, I imagine that's not a pre-prepared graphic. Oh, that yeah. Someone's time again. Well, where is that? Oh, there is the stuck axe. Yes, stuck axe delay. Uh, now, this is always fascinating how you do this. Uh, throwing things is obviously not advised as people. So someone needs to well, get some yeah. kind of a hook. And also, you're always like so, so scared that your tool could actually break. Yeah, that's so, true. Well, this is not something you see in uh, other kind of competitions. It really isn't. Yeah. Which I, stuck I, X delay, no. <laughs> no. I've never seen this before in, in other comps I've done. <laughs> well, that stuck axle hang in the air momentarily. And check out while we're waiting the cup standings on the right. Uh, Shin moving into that top spot, cementing her top spot, I should say. Now, this is the current standing. So, obviously, yes. if she gets pushed off the win tonight, she'll that score will be dropped down. Marine van der Steen, as you can see, she will be up next. And she's highlighted yes. in gold, so she can make a difference to this board. Definitely. And uh, Annette, just tell us about the rest of the season, because we haven't finished World Cups. So we're off to Canada soon. Yeah, we are off to Canada. There are two more open on Continental Cups, one in Oulu in Finland, and the last round is in Sunderland in the UK. Um, all the athletes are super excited about it, because, you know, Sunderland. And it's going to be a bit different comp, because it's inside of a regular gym so it's way different than you know climbing in these venues and then canada edmonton we are again so excited about that because it's in the middle of city so we expect a lot of people coming to watch the athletes coming to watch the comp uh, we have never been uh, competing in edmonton in canada so we don't know anything about the wall anything about the speed wall anything about the lead wall uh, pretty much about anything but we just can't wait and it's also a world championship so you know it always feels a little bit different than just a world cup exactly and you talk about being an athlete doing a lot of travel you've done a lot of travel <laughs> yes. yourself how many of those uh, competitions you just mentioned are you climbing in um, well, I was in all the rounds of the Continental Cup in Gilina, Brno, uh, then in the Netherlands, and then the season, like the real season started uh, in Korea. Then from Korea, I flew to Ure, or like to Colorado, for the Open Continental Cup in Ure, and then I immediately flew back to Europe to get again here to Sasfe. So it's definitely a lot of traveling. And are you going to Sunderland as well, or are you just going yes, to Edmonton? Yes, I'm, I'm going to Sunderland and to Edmonton. I'm skipping the comp in Oulu because I need to go to work. Um, I'm working as a zookeeper, so I can get so much time off, and also it will be too much comps. I'm concerned the animals are dead during your travel time. <laughs> is someone feeding them? Yeah, of okay. course. Okay, that's, that's good. Of course. Okay, fantastic. Right, Marine van der Steen is out from the Netherlands. Ties herself on, keeping herself uh, well warm in that hoodie. 
in that jacket now takes it off she's ready to go and again she's stepped up a bit this year really dedicating herself yeah, to being an athlete she is super dedicated she puts everything into her trainings into her performance and She's incredibly strong this year. She was strong even before, but uh, this year it's just like um, she's very, very strong, very fast, very confident. And I think she could even reach a gold medal. Okay, well, she's certainly a contender for Shin's time here and the top. Yes. Let's see what she can do. But we know there's tricky sections to yeah, this. Yeah, it's tricky. You know, it, you never know in ice climbing. You can pop out of the hold. And you don't know how. Oh no, she's on a bolt. Oh, yeah, yeah. now she got a hold. Oh. Yeah, she had a moment. Almost got a heart attack now. <laughs> well, that's the problem, is it? Because you can't have the feel from your hands. So yeah, sometimes you yeah. hook something, you think it's good, it's actually a bolt or something bad. Yeah, that's it. Cause all types of problems. I also, and I know you love pink, but uh, I, I love do. I love blue, and I, I appreciate <laughs> okay. her ice axe grip tape more than anyone else's. <laughs> yes, my tools are pink, so. <laughs> All right, well, the fire blows in the background. She's got a deep lock here, but struggling a bit yeah, to through this. Yeah, she's a little bit struggling now. She cannot get the cramping off the wall. Okay, so got stuck momentarily. Yeah, yeah. So a bit of a moment. Come on, Marion. Come on. Yeah, she's really she's struggling. She's struggling. And this is a deep, powerful move she's yeah. doing. What's, what is something What's stuck? <gasps> oh, she nearly went there. Come on, Marion, you can do this. Oh, she's well, in real trouble here. Look at the is. effort on her face. She Shaking, is. breathing deep. Goes for a dynamic she move, drops oh. back down. She's still on. She is still on. This position is so powerful for her. She Look it, at the belay layer, is, ready for save the catch. She saved herself. Okay. Now. Oh. Okay. That was, <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay. Marianne needs to breathe. We need to breathe. Yeah. That was now. What she was trying to... What is, I what don't know is what going happened. on here? He's just seeming to be not happy with something yes this is so fascinating i'd love to know what's going through her head right now now she gets herself safe see the belay team like almost yeah they're, they're, army they're style already. already what is going on for Mar marianne she's not comfortable on this move now stands up again yes leaning back changing her hands on a tool I don't know if she's just read this a bit strangely, but she's going to try the same thing. She's trying the same thing, yeah. Deep, deep lock. What? It's fascinating this to see. Kicking back down again, now grabbing the hold with the left hand. Yes. Oh, oh she got ice. it. She I didn't know. Re I don't she think didn't she realized. realize. There is the ice. She was trying to get... Oh. Up to the hold, no. So that's what it was. I was wondering. I'd kind of, I'd kind of forgotten oh, the no. ice was there as well. Yeah, me too. Me too. Wow. Well, she was trying to reach the hold. That was the problem. I mean, she was so committed no. to it. I literally yes. forgot the ice was there. Wow. Yes. Okay. Well, once she me figured too. it out, had a bit of a moment, but that is really going to have shaken her physically, mentally, yeah, everything. Everything. She was a lot of time, her lot of power. Wow, wow, what a moment that was. You don't see that often. Okay, well, she's back on track now, of course, but that will have cost her hugely. Huge, yeah. Gets the draw oh. in. Well, the chat is also responding to this. They can't believe it either. Holy ice, someone says. Yes, indeed. Okay, and now now she's got to do the low crux yeah, after that yeah, yeah. power move. Without any problems. I told you, she's incredibly strong. Okay, well, she's locked in that she stein pool. She cannot sign oh, it. No, it's oh not. no, she's, gone. she's off. And that is one, that Marianne. She has different picks than most of the athletes, and she cannot sign most of the holds. And I'm sure she would be able to do this move without, you know, um, trying to skip the ice bar. Wow, she's you, heartbroken now. This is one of those moments she's, in sport where uh, all you want to do is kind of put a blanket over her and yeah. just protect her from the world because it's got to be so difficult in an Girl, arena. She lost a lot of power there. Ah, oh, yeah, it's hard to watch, isn't it? Well, look, a lot of people it's support so this lady, watch, and uh, yeah. she will come back stronger, of yeah, course. Yeah, she will, she will. I'm sure of that she will come stronger in, in Edmonton and all the other comps. This comp has had a little bit of everything in it, hasn't it? Well, she walks off. Let's see this again. This was, look, she was trying to go directly. The ice was on her left, of course. Yes. 
I absolutely forgot about the eyes yeah, too. too. Like totally. I mean, I've seen so many women go through it, and yet yes, because she was yes, so committed yeah, to it, you yeah. think, okay. Well, after that, I think she was just gone. I mean, certainly yeah. mentally in her head, it was over. I wonder if somebody was screaming eyes or something like that, you know? Yeah. But it's so hard to hear anything. Wow. Well, drama, drama. Oh. Here is, at the end of this well, weekend, I, my brain is frazzled. Yeah, yeah. Frazzled. Wow. Brilliant word, by the way. <laughs> Very <laughs> English word, that one. Oh, man, indeed. Okay, well, let's flick back to yeah, the men, yeah, shall yeah. we? Annette, your stamina here in the commentary box is impressive. This is, this is an emotional one, so you're doing really well. <laughs> Thank you. It's harder than climbing sometimes, isn't it? This yeah. Thing. All right, Jonathan Arthur Brown uh, did really well to get into this position, yes. qualifying in second place for this final, and the last Swiss athlete out. So, in fact, the last... Oh, no, Sina Gertz as well for the women. So, yeah. the last male athlete out. The last male. And he wants to upgrade that score. Only 71 on the overall standing, so we'll be looking for a better score here. And another swiss athlete you know so for a crowd it's again a huge thing yeah it is massive all right well they'll get yeah, behind it's it it's going to be massive oh we've got the dino to talk through oh as yeah well. yeah oh, there's still me. the dino okay. now i'm again so nervous okay we could do this we could do this i'm feeling... i was a bit calmer after like virtual's climb now i'm nervous again yeah nerves are shredded yeah. okay well keep it together everyone at home as well uh do let us know if you're enjoying things the chat Keep on telling us things on that chat. Ask questions. Tell us your emotions at home. How are you feeling watching this? Because it's full on, isn't it? Yeah, Caitlin Shirley sends a crying emoji. Yeah. emoji. But right now, it's all about Jonathan Arthur Brown, and he is cruising at the moment through the bottom, as we'd expect. Yes. Although this is a powerful move, because he reaches up high. Works his feet around. We'll get this low clip locked in. Yes. And then uh, last clip before moving over to yeah. the left. We are almost there. Almost the jump part. Yeah, here we go. So hooking that middle intermediate hold, I'm going to call it. And that's it. It's not a bad one. Believe it or not. Those Swiss emblem on his tools, really cool to see. Gets it in, and it's time almost for the Maurice Lequat Dino. Here we go. He'll get the second clip first of all. And he now I'm really, really quiet because... <laughs> yeah, because everyone keeps falling off. Come yeah, on. Yeah, come on. Well, he's having a real look at this. What's so... Yeah. He uh, needs... I think he needs to put his foot on... Cor oh, he wants to swing wants it I think it's, to get it's closer. The, yeah, it's the clip that's causing him problems. Now catches yeah. it and makes it. Okay. Now he's going to be fully committed to the jump. Yeah, he's got all the quick draw shenanigans yes. done now. Just the jumpy done. So he sets himself. He'll eye the distance okay. on this. Another high hold on the axe. Goes as close as he can. Yeah. He's he in. got it. He's in. <laughs> Again, such a relief. Yeah, wow. for a moment though, I thought he was in some trouble, but he yeah. managed to sort himself out. Makes this clip now, but we know there's another issue coming up. So rope drag yeah, yeah. gate. Let's rope see if he can sort drag. it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Virgil is watching. Look, he hasn't taken his helmet off. He's just staring upwards. Makes the match. Wiggles that tool out. Wants to swap it around. Yeah. Hello to Climbing Gems, who's joining us once more from Australia. Woo! I know, apparently it's 3 a.m. in the morning. Climbing Gems, go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Makes his way out of that tricky okay. move. Get his old. You can hear the crowd in the background yeah, of yeah. our broadcast here really getting into this. Nice. Nice no. and steady work. Yeah, not really any hold skipping as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's re he's, that. Interesting. Yeah. Gets him a bit more height, I guess. Into the stein book. Yeah. Okay, reaches up high. Mm -hmm. He's into the pinnacle now. This hanging that's feature that's new to Sasfe. On the swinging roof. Yeah, you can see the wire that's attached by moving around. That is deliberate. It's not a, a fault on the wall. Oh, it's 5 yes. a.m. in Australia. Apologies. Still, go to bed. 
<laughs> All right, he's on this stone hold. Now, remember, these holds are plucked out of the water around Saspe in the rivers and then crafted he's into climbing holds. He's speeding now. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Minute 40, checks the clock. Oh, this is the rope drag. Just got yes, he got it. He got it. The setters behind the scenes are working on sorting that out. Right, around the nice. corner. Around the corner. He's taking it from the top, not hanging the hold. True, yeah. Different style, works yes. well. That is the hold, great shot. Okay. Wondering if he's going to use the stone at first or the metal hold. Yeah, only, uh, who was it who used the metal hold? Virgil used the metal hold, yes. got the stein in. For the stein, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, there is Virgil in a shot in a shot. Picks the feet high. He's going to commit to a big, big move. Oh, missed it on the first try. Uh, well, but the pick is not on the correct spot now. Oh, yeah. It's, it's too far. Oh, it's just it's so up. sketchy now. Yeah, it's right on the not wow, grippy bit. That's really scary. And he wants to do some kind of a match here. Surely oh, not. I'm almost not breathing now. Oh, he made it. Okay. Okay. Now we can Saved breathe. himself. I can breathe again. Yes, please don't pass out next to me. <laughs> yeah. There's no one in the room. You, you're just going <laughs> to die. All right, up he oh, goes. Okay, not using the metal hold, apparently. No, it's a nasty looking thing that you don't really want to commit to. And it's hard to see the hole <laughs> underneath. But oh, no, he has found yeah. it. He knows where the hole is. Okay, using his hands. But that's a slippery hole, so it shows oh, how powerful it is. It is slippery. Oh, he's oh no, he's, he's off. Yeah, our camera oh. flicked up to try to get the next yeah. hole, and he went down. We'll catch it on a replay in a second. But yeah. Jonathan Arthur Brown not making the podium. Such oh, a shame. No. Just outside in fourth. And he'll come down. We will see what happened in a sec. But yeah, he was going off that, holding that metal ball like that. Yes, that's yes. Interesting. So, yeah. And it's so slippery, you know, so it's so hard to, to hold it with your hand, with gloves. Yeah. And it's Sina Getz coming. Yeah, Sina is our final uh, female athlete yes. out. But we'll watch the end of this first, chatting to one of our judges. Let's see where this happened. We'll download this with a jump. No, no issues from the jump. Yeah. Look good. Fell in, held the swing as we we're expecting. Swinging around here and then... That was all good. Didn't have too much rope drag, yeah, so that's yeah. good. Yeah, it was okay. Yeah, but it's up high where it went wrong for him. This was the move uh, which he nearly messed up, wrapped yeah. it in a weird position. Mm -hmm. Yes. He and needed to save himself with the other two. Yeah, and then fell after that. Okay, well, yeah. final okay. athlete, Sina Gertz, is out from switzerland so could she win she qualified in first place for this final the swiss yes. crowd is going to go insane whatever happens of she... course it's Sina. she is an absolute legend and here in saspe well everyone is going to go wild but just to put this into context not only does she need to top this route she needs to do it quickly yes and she doesn't know that's how quickly it. of course that's it pink tool so i presume you'll be very biased yeah yeah, yeah she's my favorite <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and off she goes into the ice. We can hear the crowd even here. Yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah, really everyone good. is cheering for her from the very beginning. Make sure of that pick placement. It's correct without any mistakes. Hooks underneath, goes up high to the right. She was so, so unlucky this season with lots of slips and those that. unlucky moments. So I really hope she's going to be able to top really fast here. Yeah, look at the difference. And we saw Marianne not use that yeah, ice. That's yeah, how easy that yeah, move could yeah, have been. Yeah, yeah. Whoosh. Okay, so up to a... I still didn't get over it. No, I mean, we've seen so many different things. We've seen hooks on the uh, handles of yeah, axes. We've seen hand moves. Everything has gone on in this car. Yeah, yeah. Wild one. one okay, she's books. taking it from the top. Now, what will she use here? She's going straight for the hand. Okay, okay, perfect. Now, Cena was the lady who was going to tell the story about uh, hot, the axe breaking teeth when she fell. She's yes. got it tangled up, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. So, yeah, she had it in her mouth when she slipped and that ripped a tooth out, apparently. Yeah. So, she, sport is so intense. It is. Well... Okay, high clips. Nice at the moment from Cena. Yeah, going fast. 
but without mistakes. Yeah, that's what she needs to do. It has yes, to be exactly. almost perfect. Yeah, that's it. For being a champion in ice climbing, you need to be perfect. Like the big placement, your speed, everything. Okay, transition over to the right now. No drama so far. Yes. You've seen it. Hard moves coming up though. That box is hanging, waiting at a weird angle on the wall. Looks to the left. Works that rope through. <laughs> that won't be rope drag. It's just an awkward position. She's clipping pretty low. Got the clip. Got the undercling. Good. Ooh. Oh, that was scary. Yeah. And it's to save it on the cheeks of the axe. Right, out to the left of this hole. Oh, what's going oh. on there? It got stuck there. And there is Marianne talking it through with Rob about what happened. All right, so up she goes towards the uh, next section of the wall. Things are getting really, really steep here. It is. It is. Uh, zone number six makes the clip. Cena needs to climb quickly and top, remember. Just want to remind everyone how big this task is. And she doesn't yeah, know yeah, anything about yeah, this. Yeah, of course. She's trying to do the same thing as, as Vivi, trying to find the hole. That's really interesting because she is the only climber who did that. Yeah, bumping that up yeah. on that fig four. Move nice. Behind wraps. She's got it. this move using a short handle now. So far, so good. Yeah. But another figure. Yeah, another figure. If you're Swiss right now and you're not cheering for this lady, there is something wrong with you. Yeah, Get yeah. Behind her. Come on. <laughs> Even if you're not oh, Swiss, cheer for her. She's doing so. Oh, oh this, this is, is the move, the, isn't this it? This is the move I'm so nervous about. Come on, Sina. Ale, ale, ale. Oh, Whoa. every time it's going to burn it, every time she does that. Yeah, it's a very hard move. Oh, you can see her peak, it's moving again. Oh, yeah, on the slippery hold. Yeah, oh, and again. Oh, oh. gosh, it's sliding, isn't it? All right. She corrected it. And then, I mean, psychologically, you know it's sliding. She still gets a fix uh, misses it again. Yeah. There's the hold, so close. The hold is so small, like the hole in it. Okay, leans back, shakes out. This is her this moment is in the comp. This is her moment, yeah. Yes, she got it, yeah. Well, the crowd go crazy. I'm just making sure what? she is in, yeah. She is in. And makes the nice. match. Okay. Come on, Sina. She still has two and a half minutes. But look, so far to go. She's on 21. Is in silver, so she's guaranteed silver. Yes, yes. And there is the lady who's currently in gold. She can barely look upwards. Oh. That's just so strange. You want to encourage the athletes, but at the same oh, yeah. time you want to win. It's everything going on. This long swing move. It's almost a heel hook. Yeah, there. yeah. <laughs> They're <all> smart. <laughs> okay, so into another fig four. Big move up. Hits that, which is literally a screw sticking out of the yeah, wall. Yeah, yeah. Those are just screws. <laughs> Outrageous. Oh, yeah. Second Heard. time she's got a pick yeah, stuck. Yeah, stuck. <laughs> okay, well, she's doing well. I'm not entirely sure on Shin's time, but we'll find out from the crowd if she manages to top it, if it will be yeah, enough. Yeah. She's got to get there first, of course. Of course. Alice, you know. Wraps the leg around, locks in that pick. Yeah. She got an exit hold. Now the undercling, the stein. Yes. But from here on, it almost gets horizontal here. She's got to go upside down above this crowd. Yeah. It's got to be intimidating. This is Whoa. the match hold. Checks behind her, wraps a leg around, shakes out from the pump, gets in another stein. Another stein, yeah. And no Whoa! Think of the core what? in order to do that. Basically, not swinging her legs to yeah, the box. Yeah, a front lever, basically, yeah, on, yeah, a, yeah. on a wall. Wow. Tyler's saying she's like Now, this work. is yeah. the moment. Yeah, she's skipping the clip as, as um, Shin did. Perfect. Okay, a couple of moves. Mm. The head wall to come. She's got to be quick, though. 35 Just seconds. Just a few more moves. 30 seconds. 
We're going to have to wait and see if she tops it. Who's going to take it? Uh, she must out. be so pumped now. Like, oh, oh big slip. Manages big to hold slip, it. 20 seconds. There's the top. 20 seconds. Sina, you can do this. Come on, Ale Ale. The crowd are just driving her on. Whoa. Reaches up. Oh, oh no. And a fall. Well, forget Whoa. about the time then. She won't take Whoa. the win. But she will take a silver yeah, medal. Yeah, she still has a silver medal, which, you know, it's a World Cup. <laughs> well, Sin Whoa. goes and hugs. What an amazing climb from Sina. Ah, oh, it was a battle, wasn't it? That move it in the was. middle towards the yeah, slot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, the women's comp is over for now, and we have one final athlete to come. But we will see some of the highlights. First of all, as Sina comes yes. back down to the ground. This was the moment down low. This is the Stein that actually slipped. Yeah, 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 it is. She managed to save herself. Jan Havel says, that was now amazing on the move. chat. Yeah, this is the move, isn't it? <laughs> so she didn't try as many methods, just relied no, no, on her strength. No, she relied on one. Oh, that was mm -hmm. the miss. That was the miss. Yeah. She lost a lot of energy here. Eventually got it locked in. Yeah. And a match on the handles, got that in, and then, yeah, I think she might have not had enough time. I think Sim was ahead yeah, on time, yeah, yeah. but she didn't manage to top the route anyway. But what a fight from Cena. Oh, yeah, she almost got it. And that plummet as well, it's a big old fool. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> Just again to reiterate how so brave I started as well. Yes, Nathan. All right, so he qualified in first position and looked really good in the semi finals. Yeah, he did. He Super did. Super strong. Okay, just uh, <laughs> making sure. Smiling. Everyone... He's looking relaxed, isn't he? Yeah. It'll be strange for him because he'll be the last one left in the isolation area, just all alone yeah, in there. It's going to be spooky. It is spooky and it makes you so, so nervous. Like... Okay, Nathan. Let's see what you can do. Off he goes okay, on his final run. slowing down a little bit. Yeah, well, want to just build himself into a rhythm here. A lot to come as he climbs past our spectators who have been gradually getting noisier and noisier as this comes Yeah, on. of course. Out towards the right, into the points easily here, and then uh, makes the clip. So, chat, this is your last chance. Let us know if you've enjoyed this. Using his hand. Yeah, wow. he is straight. We didn't even hesitate straight yeah, into the no. hand. Without any hesitation. Yeah, let us know, chat, if you're enjoying this. Uh, climber James thinks it's nail biting. I agree. Let us know who's your favorite climber so far, what you've enjoyed as we watch our last athlete make his way up. Nice side approach there, turning his body. Yeah. Easy through this first part, as yeah. we'd expect. No one falling down low. All good. Don't say that. Please don't <laughs> yes, say that. I forgot. <laughs> well, as long as he can kick in left, I can, I can get away with the commentator <laughs> curse. Come on, just touch the left wall. Okay, there we go. No one falling on that first one. <laughs> but this is where uh, Jonathan Arthur had a bit of a moment looking at it. No such problems for Nathan. Standing up yes. tall at the moment. Makes the high clip. The second clip can be a bit trickier to get in. Kicks in a few times. That black now volume quite... Clipping again. Yeah, he's in, isn't he? Oh, just... Okay. Yeah, he got it. There we go. Okay, Maurice Liquardino. He already come. kind of prepared his, uh, his foot for jump. Yeah, he's kind of looking at that position, yeah. isn't he? He's got to swap the axe first of all. Gets it ready. Here we Jamma, go. Come on, Nathan. Come on. No! Oh, another disaster to finish off the comp. <gasps> Nathan plummets back down. Hits the uh, barrier on his way. And that's no. two athletes who fell on that one. Yeah. Unbelievable. Luna and Nathan. Oh. Well, we He's all... still smiling. <laughs> he is. I mean, you just he know, don't you? He is still smiling. That is one of the most bonkers competitions <laughs> I've ever been part of. Everything happened in that Such one. Such a big drama from the very beginning. I'm so glad you are here because your high energy and just <laughs> cope with you what so happened much. in this I job. really enjoyed it. <laughs> it was brilliant. Well, oh. we're not done yet, don't worry. We'll wait to see the final results. Let's yeah. watch this as well. This was the jump. Just Yeah, he really missed it. It's, I know it's not funny, uh. but it's one of those comedy moments where you're just like, yeah. you know, you can see it in a yeah. cartoon, yeah. just, ah, yeah. oh, missing it. Uh. 
well, it's, but he's pretty in good mood. Yeah, he's still smiling. For sure, he must be so disappointed. But but Virgil, you we know, should uh, take our hats off to him. Has a beer, good man. Yeah, <laughs> good way to celebrate. I Gets love that. A beer. Passes it back to Luna, who's already on the beers, as you'd expect. <laughs> Well, fantastic scenes all around. My voice, I never lose my voice in these competitions, yet I am close on this one. No! So much has happened. <laughs> it did. Team France can celebrate here tonight. Yeah. yeah. And I think the party will go on long. They have things to celebrate. Yeah, so much going on here. Two athletes on podium, if I'm not wrong. Well, and just remember, if you missed any of the action over the last couple of days, you can go back, watch it for free on the UIA. The speed climb where Aneta next to me got her silver medal <laughs> just picked from gold. So unlucky. <laughs> and you can check out the semi-finals as well if you want. So great to see Team France here enjoying things. We'll wait for the final results at the top of the wall. There we go. Shin confirmed on the top, followed by Sina Gertz. Marianne, Sam and Thomas Marianne after is going that. to be super happy. Yeah, so another team member of France yes. on the board. Team Switzerland gets up there as well. But Shin, you have to say, she was perfect throughout that yeah, round. Yeah, yeah, she was. And then Virgil taking victory for France. Tristan Ladamout in second. Young Yun Lee in third. And then Jonathan Arthur Brown after that. So what a performance from all of our athletes here this evening. It was an exciting one. Everything happened that possibly could happen. And we do have the podiums to come, but let's check out the uh, World Cup standings they are. Shin cements herself on the top, 200, well out in front of Marion, followed by Sina Gertz after that. That is our top three, and then everyone else running to catch up. Yeah, the podiums won't be live on our stream, but they will take place after this, so check out the Instagram for pictures. Young Yan Lee on the top spot, 145 for him, followed by Benjamin Bossard and Min Chung Kim after that. Benjamin Bossard doing well with that 112. Not so good tonight for him, but uh, good to see him up at the top spot in terms of cup standings. Well, that's almost it for Sasfe. Do remember that we have uh, Canada in a while. Aneta, I'm going to say goodbye. You have a podium to go yes. to get to. <laughs> Thank you so much to everyone who's been working behind the scenes. We will be back for more action in Edmonton, Canada, where we return for the third and final World Cup of the year. Thank you for watching, everyone. We'll be back soon for more climbing action when we return. Good night. Ice climbing is a unique genre of competition climbing. So I'm going to take you through a few of the rules and what to watch out for. Now, as you'd expect, these competitions tend to be quite cold, so a good warm-up is essential. Once the athletes... Thank you.